And, and all gas, no break. Welcome to the show, Chris, Justin, and Mo. We got Justin Armstrong. We got uh, Mo, the fucking chicken cutlet master in the yeah, right. building. And we are here <laughs> to serve you some fresh fucking mutts. Uh, this is episode 91, the JFM, John Franklin Myers episode. Yeah. Um, let's get into it. It is Super Bowl week, which means that uh, it's Super Bowl week, which means that uh, all the hoes are outside, which uh, includes one Woody Johnson. Uh, <laughs> you know, he was being a hoe yeah. outside at the Man, uh, horrid, NFL. Horrid. NFL at the NFL Honor Award Show yesterday, uh, you know everyone shows up to the NFL Awards like it's the Grammys or whatever the fuck. But uh, yeah, he showed oh, up. I got the MVP. Man, he spread those lips like shoot. He he was on the corner spreading. Yeah, Woody Johnson <laughs> showed up, and uh, I guess he talked to uh, he talked to the beat reporters out there and said some. He says he says some really he says some really dumb he shit. Not care. Uh, he said that. Uh, he said that. Yeah. Uh, he he said that basically there's no playoff mandate, but that uh, the current regime of Douglas and Robert Sala has to do a hell of a lot better than seven wins to, <clears throat> you know, if, if people are going to keep their jobs. Here we fucking go. Uh, he also said we need a backup quarterback. We didn't have one last year. Uh, which yeah, we had Zach. We had Zach. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's definitely uh, definitely a smart thing to say, you know, when you're trying to trade Zach Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, way to, make, uh, way to make your GM's job yeah. of trading Damn. his bum harder. Um, uh, I, I feel like the best selling point for Zach is, uh, hey, look at Gino and Sam. They both got picked <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll get the fuck out watch, of here. watch Purdy Purdy gets hurt and Zach slings it the whole game. Yeah, that would be wild. That if yeah, if, if Purdy goes down and Sam wins the goddamn Super Bowl. That if, Sam win, if Sam Darnold wins Super Bowl MVP, I'm gonna like, like why dollars. why 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 did I even bring this up? I don't know why I want to hurt myself this much. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I um that's why I bet money on Sam Darnold winning Super Bowl MVP just in case. <laughs> <laughs> was that a, a a payout of like a million for a dollar bet? Yeah, uh, five, five dollars pays out like a thousand. <laughs> really? That ain't bad. I'm make yeah, that that ain't bad. Shit, that's not a waste of five dollars. It kind of is, but it kind of is. Nah, because because Purdy Purdy could get hurt. Purdy could get hurt. It it very well could. Pur- and the Niners little, are good enough to fuck them all, boy. Yeah. Yeah, but then also yeah. Sam Darnold would have to like play at like a high enough level that they don't just give the MVP to someone else. Like they'd have to Sam Darnold would have to do enough that they don't just give it to like Christian McCaffrey or no, no. All, all he has to do is make sure that um look they, they they'd probably they probably go down. So Sam would have to come back. All he has to do is give a five five yard dump off to Ayuk and uh and Kittle and Debo more than McCaffrey runs it, and he'd make it. That's it. They make oh yeah. man, he had he had 250 yards in the second half. Oh, he was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, it's all run after catch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Tom yeah. Brady did make a uh Tom Brady did make a uh a living uh of you know dinking and dunking his way to uh yeah. mm-hmm. Super Bowls and he won most of the MVPs of those Super Bowls. So uh yep. Yep. Or seven Super Bowls actually, and I think he won like I think he won like five of the seven Super Bowl MVPs. Only like, five? Yeah, one year. Uh, one year, Julian Edelman won Super Bowl MVP. Uh, fair, yeah. that's year, fair. Near the Rams won it, and I think in the two thousand and four Super Bowl when they beat the Eagles, uh, Dion Branch, I believe, was the Super Bowl MVP. Yeah, because he had like three touchdowns or something. Yeah, yeah, the man went off. Uh, so I mean, was you that know, against the Eagles. Yeah, yeah, it was the one where I remember that game. Yeah, yeah. I think To was playing with like a broken leg or something. Mm-hmm. Fucked up foot. 
Uh, and then threw Donovan McNabb under the bus afterwards, said that if they had Brett Favre, they would have won. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's Super Bowl. Uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, Sam Darnold winning Super Bowl MVP is not – it's not a – it's not impossible. It's not likely, but the odds are not zero. Uh, so it could be worth a sprinkle because otherwise if you don't bet on it and it happens, then we'll all want to kill ourselves. So – might as well want to kill yourself and have a little bit more money in your pocket. Hmm. Um, but yeah, overall, just and uh, connection is doo doo has left the meeting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, overall, I mean, yeah, overall, Woody Johnson opening his mouth at the uh, NFL is just like, man, why? It's like it's funny because it's like all year, it's like people want that shit like, fucking pissed me off so much. Like I, I don't even care anymore. This is funny because it's like all year people like wanted <sighs> to like, people wanted answers from like someone you know people wanted answers from people higher than Salah like all year it was like oh when are we going to hear from Joe Douglas? When are we going to hear from he's, Woody Johnson? Because he's fucking fuck. listening to the fans too much. That's fuck. why. Shut the fuck up and let them do their goddamn job. Yeah for real like just oh just fuck God. off. Shut up I don't know, sell the team, pass away, Please. and like just go away. Like it's so like all right, like like Woody is just so he's just so clueless. It's like, dude, you do not know a goddamn thing about football. Uh and like you see like last year it was like, oh, we just like I think they're I think the owner is I think he's very delusional. Like because last year the whole message was like, oh, we just need a quarterback. And now, yeah. you know, now we it's like. just need an O-line. You know, yeah, now it's like, you know, we just need all these other things and a backup quarterback. It's like, you really, like, saw what was, it's like, you've owned this team for now for, like, over 20 years. 25 years. years. Yeah, it's yeah. been, like, 25 years that you've owned this team. And, like, you still don't know by now that, like, uh, the problems ran deeper than just, like, losing Aaron Rodgers. Like, like how, how fucking long does it take you to realize you, you're you fucking everything up? Yeah, or to realize, like, whatever you're doing is just not working. And, and, and I want to say, like, oh, he, he should know shit. He's a, he's a fucking businessman. Yeah, by inheritance. He's he's inherited all his shit. So what the yeah. fuck does he know? Yeah, he inherited a bunch of shit, and then he bought the Jets. Uh, he bought the Jets when uh, probably never watched football growing up in his life. I guarantee it. No chance. Last try back on the show. Last chance Mark University. Wayne. I'm about to give up. I swear, I'm about to give up on this team. It's uh, you know, it's 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 definitely bleak at this at this moment. I mean, like, we're all just like begging, you know. It's like we're all just begging you to like end this playoff drought and maybe like win a playoff game. Like, the bar is just like in hell. Like, we were supposed to. This was supposed to be a time where like we could, you know, actually like compete for something. Like, we were supposed to have like a. A window of like competing but like the team is just like too much of a dumpster fire to like get out of its own way well do you think we have no chance of a uh, afc championship next year the hell fucking no afc i'm not i'm, I'm not talking winning, about it, or, winning talking it or making about. it to the game making it making it making it to the afc championship game uh, I don't yeah. even want to talk about this shit right now. I want to talk about first of all, what the fuck are we going to do to fix the team? Well, all right. well, last week we talked a lot. Well, last week we talked a at, at nauseum about the O line, and we brainstormed we did. some. Uh, we brainstormed uh, some pretty good ideas of like how we could fix it. Uh, hopefully, Olush Fashanu falls to us. I know that, like, you know, I know that hopefully there's like Joe Alt I know there's a conversation. I've seen some mocks where Joe Alt falls to us too. Really. Yes. I don't see that happening. I really don't. I don't either. Yeah. I seen I seen I seen one mock where the uh the Titans who were supposed to 
in every other mock draft were was getting uh Olu Fashano, but or uh, Joe Alt, but they ended up getting Olu Fashano and then and it all Joe Alt up. dropped dropped to us. I mean, if I was one of those that, teams, like if I was one of those teams in like the uh like say I don't know. Say like I don't know, Alt is off the board, and then say like you get to like eight or nine, and Fashan is still there. I'm fucking, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and I, I'm fucking, I'll, I'll I'm fucking calling Joe Douglas, and I'm fleecing him. Shoot, I'll, I'd run to the podium. I don't care. But see, no, what I'm is- saying is like, what I'm saying is like, if I was a, if if you say you were the GM of like the Bears or the Falcons or like one of those teams picking before the Jets. Oh, uh, oh, and, oh okay. like Olu Fashano is like still available. I'm I'm hitting up the Jets and I'm like trying to like, and I'm, I'm trying to be like, you hey, listen, we're taking Olu Fashano unless you want to like give up the goods right now. Hmm. Well, well, shit, we ain't got no goods. Yeah, we barely have any goods to give up. I mean, we probably we, have to we need the goods. <laughs> yeah, and, but at the same time, yeah, and I know there's like you know that, and that's why there's a discussion about trading back from ten. Uh, but mm-hmm. which I mean, if like like if Fashanu alt Fu, and like somehow Fuaga is also gone, I and, I could see Fuaga dropping to like twelve. Yeah, yeah, I could see him dropping farther than that. To be honest, yeah, I could see. He seems it too. like a little bit. He seems like a little like bit more of like 16. a. He seems like a little bit more of a project. Uh, mm-hmm. Fashanu seems more like ready to go. And I don't know be like, because I see a lot of people saying like he's not as built up as people are saying he is. Like Joe Alt looks like a plug and play, easy. But yeah. Fashanu, like people are like, like a lot of scouts are saying he's not as as he's not pro as, ready like, as as ready. he as, as they're saying. I think yeah, that not I think there might be a little. I think there might be. I think that might be a little bit of smoke. But, though. I mean, yeah, it, it could be smoke, but like when you when, once the combine comes, and then you're gonna see all these like yeah, interviews so and conversations, him, him meeting with yeah. teams, they're yeah, gonna know the combines. In, yeah, the combines what in like two weeks. Uh, so we still have the combine to like you know get through, right. and then like and then we have like a month of pro days. Uh, so mm-hmm. or like a month and a half of pro days to get through. So. Uh, there is a lot that can and will change, uh, yeah. but overall, I don't know how much it's really going to affect the way I mean, the board shakes out. Especially on for top of that, teams. yeah, because there are like there's like ten teams that need quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah. So like a lot of teams, a lot of teams are going to be like needing quarterbacks. I mean, I think the first three picks of the draft will probably all be quarterbacks. I think so too, and I think it's going to be the usual, the Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels. Yeah, and the well, Raiders apparently could, love Jaden Daniels. Yeah, so if like, so like if Jaden falls, if the Patriots don't take him, he probably won't fall past uh, wherever the Raiders are picking. Yeah, uh, which, which I'm not 100 percent sure off the top of my head where they are picking. I'm I think actually, they're six or seven. Yeah, they're they're actually thirteenth. Oh, they're thirteen. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, the, right. yeah, the Raiders they're, are like they're better. They're like better than us. They finished eight and nine. Yeah, and they so won I mean, one more game and they beat us. <laughs> I could maybe see. I could maybe see Washington trading up to get Caleb, moving up one spot to get Caleb Williams with the Bears. Since yeah, because like, they want. They want Caleb Williams. They want him. They just hired uh, Kiss Sexberry, and uh, supposedly Caleb Williams doesn't want to go to the Bears, which I also kind of call bullshit on that because, like, if you didn't want to go to the Bears, you knew they were going to be picking. You knew they were going to be picking first overall this whole time. Why would you even then play stay in college? Yeah, and especially if he could have supposedly made all this money that he could have mm-hmm. made if he just stayed in college too. Like, it right. makes no fucking sense. So I mean I'm sure Caleb Williams is like fine with wherever he goes. Yeah. Man, are y'all talking about Caleb what? now? Well, what I'm, I'm saying, not, I'm, you know what? I'm, saying, I'm not even that Pets. high on Caleb Williams. Either. I'm not either. What I'm saying though for the you Jets, be a bust. Is, 
you know, there could be a um, there could be a conversation about, you know, there is conversations about trading back and, you know, it could make sense, you know, to recoup a second round pick to move back a little bit. But at the same time, like, listen, if if Olu Fashano is there at 10, don't fucking I'll take him. Back. Just take I'm him. I'm taking him. Yeah, I don't I'll care to take him. a second round pick at that point. Try and get like God forbid you draft a wide receiver on day two or day three that like makes a difference. God forbid you do that. Honestly, you know it would be wild. Take Olu Fashano, plug him in at left tackle. What what about putting Makai Becton at left guard? Uh I think Becton will have him. Yeah, he should definitely be left guard. I don't, I don't think he's gonna be left tackle. I think we need to get a left tackle. You think you think he he'll be? Gone? I want him to be left. I tackle. mean, yes, hundred percent. I want the the one I want. You, want, you still want Becton to be Zeitler. left tackle? Yes, yes, I do. You still want Becton to be nah, left tackle? No, nah, he was I'm the worst left tackle in the league last year. He yeah, led the he league was. in sacks allowed and false starts, and you still want him to be left tackle? Like, yes, what, are you, yes. what, what do what do you see? Like. What could you possibly see to still want that? I look what, the way I look at it is this. The way please, you look at it, is tell me. <laughs> look, uh, tell me. Look, look, he was he was dominant when he was what like a hundred pounds heavier. When he was a rookie, yeah, like a hundred years ago. Yeah, but yeah. I Four I feel like ago. he's lost. He he doesn't know he doesn't know how to use he didn't know how to use his fucking body this season. He could fucking be better next season. So good, gain, I so think there's gain, a good so chance. He gained a bunch of weight. I he are starting left no tackle chance. and then tear his ACL again because he's fat. Great, great idea. No, no. You see, I, I don't want him to gain. I don't want him to <laughs> gain more weight unless, look, may, may, maybe gain some more muscle or not possibly. But if he stays healthy, I think there's a chance that he could still be a good, uh, good left tackle. Well, he can go do According that. According to Arizona what, or what? What statistics are you going off of? The fact that he was a good left tackle. When his rookie season, he was good. Well, Bar in, look, if this thing he never got injured, if he never got injured, he Four years he, ago. he would have been great. He would have been great if he never got injured. But he okay. had multiple injuries. But he did. If he could overcome them, I would definitely take him. So, so you wouldn't draft a left tackle, is what you're saying? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. If we can get a solid left tackle, yeah. But a rookie left tackle is not always guaranteed to be good. Beckton was good his rookie year. He was. He was. Uh, I, I and then you know I would say I would say there's a high, highly a better chance of Makai Beckton being the same player or close to the same player he was last year than there is of him improving. Like I think what, I think we know what about what, our, like, what, what gives you what gives you faith that he would improve other than like just that you know, you've always liked the guy. Just just because he's he's at a physique level that he's never been in his in his entire life. He's got to adjust. You got to give him time to adjust. We don't granted, have we have we have a, like a one year window. What? Yes, uh, yes. I was about to say, granted, we we really can't. don't have the fucking he's, time to give just, up. He's yeah. been adjusting uh, all season. How many? How many? Yeah, how many, but adjusting with a shit ass O line um, next to him. And even before, uh, you know, not for nothing, but even before Becton did, uh, I mean, because Becton got hurt his rookie year. But even before Beckton, like, uh, you know, got hurt and missed, like, the whole 2021 season and 2022 season and after he got hurt again, like, yeah. people forget about this, but, like, in that 2021 training camp, like, Beckton was so bad. Like, he was getting dusted by Carl Lawson. Like, it was to the point where they could barely even run the practices because Beckton was getting beat so badly by Carl Lawson, who, like, yeah. like now he's getting he cut. Yeah, that was that that was a um more closer to prime Carl Lawson and Beckton off an injury <laughs> where you know Carl he's, Lawson came off an injury. He did, he did, he did. I said closer to prime. So I think this, this might have been before Lawson got hurt, like in that training camp, because he got hurt in training camp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all I'm saying, all I'm, I'm not saying Beckton would pan yeah, out was, and I'm was, he, 
I'm not saying we he deserves a chance, but I would I would keep him for training camp. Well, he's he's not going to be on the team. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Moving on, from, they're going to be moving on. So what the, what's your argument? I'm sure. I'm sure he'll well, go my, my, yeah. and be better though. Like every yeah, other- what, what happens? He goes to another team and he starts looking fucking elite again. Then what the fuck y'all gonna say? Oh shit, we just we just got rid of someone that could have been fucking great for us. No, it's gonna be a new team. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it wouldn't be the first new, time. Like fresh start. That's that's what I'm saying. He deserves. I mean, yeah, okay. I think. I think how, how I think both sides are the Jets are, uh, when I think they both sides are I think both sides here are looking for a fresh start. I think Beckton like wants people out. when they leave the Jets, they look better. It is well, true. Like fucking, well, I mean the whole Darnold thing is like, I don't know, like we haven't even really seen Sam Darnold outside of the Jets. He didn't do great that good great in Cowboys. I don't yeah, yeah. What well, when he played well well when he played for the uh for the Niners for the last game, he didn't look that good. And that's a team where he should be at the fucking excel because any fucking yeah, that's, quarterback that's a team should where, be able like, to excel. If you're any doing quarterback it. should be like plugged in and be able to produce. And like you know, he's a, yeah. a, third over, a former third overall pick that's like you <laughs> know backing up a Mister Irrelevant. <laughs> well, um, that Mister Irrelevant is very relevant right now. Yeah, I love me some yeah, Bernie, he, man. Mister Mister Irrelevant is playing quarterback on the most. Relevant stage there is to play quarterback. Hey, my second favorite quarterback right there. Behind the other and quarterback that should have been the Lamar. fucking Super Bowl. Yo, man, Lamar fucked up. He did. Yeah, he did. I'm glad you said it. He did. That game's on him. Yeah. Yeah, like, people want to blame the refs for it. And, like, the officiating was a little sus in that game. But, uh, yeah, it was. It definitely nah, was. They, but they, don't they, matter. They, he he they, had chances to win it. Lamar was, he had a, plenty Lamar of was in his head. Game. Lamar was very much in his head that game because he, uh, thought that he, he was like, I, I need to, I need to win this game and, like, do it in, like, a, a certain way that involved passing the football and not yeah. running. Yeah, not not only that, but I feel like um, like if you look at other quarterbacks when they're when the wide receivers fuck up, yeah, they'll ream them out, but they don't lose their head. Lamar lost his head um as soon as Zay Shoot. fucking like Zay, the Zay first tried quarter. to. Yeah, well, it, it it was a it was a constant progression of him just losing mm-hmm. his his focus his, his mentality during that game. Which I think fucked him up a lot, but as soon as Zay got the um, got the uh, the the unsportsmanlike fucking yeah, conduct shit, and yeah, then he fucking yeah. extended and lost the fumble. I feel like then Lamar was just done. Mentally yeah, he was done. Which sucks because you're the quarterback. You're supposed to be the fucking leader. You're supposed to get your team round round behind you. You're supposed to have the fucking highest mental level. Lamar is not there. That's the one thing I I can't give him. I think he I think he's a good passer. He's above I don't average think he'll in the NFL. Win the Super Bowl. He might not. I feel I like know. this is this was his best chance. He might not unless he leaves the Ravens because I don't think the Ravens are going to necessarily... The Ravens aren't dumb enough to let him go. If they were dumb enough to let him go, they would have done it last year. Yeah, Yeah, because they paid him already. When they were blowing smoke up everyone's ass. But the Ravens were actually never letting him go. I was actually listening to some... uh, a few a couple months ago, I was listening to like some something on the radio and like basically they were saying that uh, like yeah, they were like inter- like yeah, they they uh, allowed Lamar to request a trade and whatever, and find someone to give him an offer. But they were always going to match whatever offer or yeah. exceed whatever offer uh, another but team put wanted. out there. Yeah, like I don't doubt that gonna, they were never. Gonna I don't doubt that. And I feel like, I feel like every owner or NGM knew that already. Like what? What? When he was looking for people, they're like, "Yeah, there's no point in offering you um, anything because the Rams is going to beat it." Yeah, yeah. Plus, like the owners were having like their little, uh, their their little like uprising, and they were like, "Yeah, they're uprising against Lamar." But like, it was just yeah, all nonsense. Well, it was the Browns' fault for uh, 
for paying. Yeah, his- the Browns are fucking stupid. Lamar deserves that money. Yeah, Deshaun don't fuck Deshaun out of here. I, I honestly thought Deshaun might show up in uh, in Cleveland the first year. And he's, he's a bum. He's a bum. <laughs> yeah, the he's Browns. Did, uh, well, he was he spending a lot of games, but he was, uh, yeah, he, he came back. He, first, was, yeah. and he didn't really look good this year when he did play. How the fuck do you let Flacco outshine you? Fuck out. Yeah, yeah. The Browns need Joe fucking Flacco to like make the playoffs. Also, who uh, could have been the Jets? <laughs> I would have honestly the the way he played, I would have taken him as the backup, but he wouldn't have played that way if he's on the Jets. He wouldn't have played that well on the Jets. I think that the uh you know, I think it's easy to like dunk on the Jets or be like, hey, why didn't you like like and you know, obviously the Jets should have done more. They should have been more proactive about getting a backup quarterback at some point. But I don't yeah. really blame them for not going to Joe Flacco because like when Joe Flacco was on the Jets last year, like he was awful. He looked like, like he was just bored. Literally, yeah, like, exactly. Literally, exactly. Literally, like Zach Wilson was was a better quarterback for the Jets in twenty twenty two. He was. He Flacco. was. He was. And that's yeah. terrible to say. Um, you know, I mean, Mike White was obviously the best one, and if they would have just started Mike White those first three games instead of Flacco when when Zach Wilson was hurt, uh, the Jets probably would have like kept gone it. into the playoffs. They probably would have been like nine and eight or ten and seven because they probably would have won like one or two of those games or one or two. Uh, games. I would have, I, I would have taken Mike White over Zach and shit. After the season, I might have taken Strevler over Zach. Yeah, that motherfucker should not even be in the NFL. Who yeah. Zach or Strevler? Both. Uh, well, Strebler, I don't know if Strebler is in the NFL. Is he still? Uh, no. Last I heard about Chris Strebler, he was like, I think he's on the uh, Niners practice squad or something. Or no, uh, Chris Strebler. <laughs> Chris Strebler is back in Canada. He the plays 49ers for- love our sloppy seconds. Yeah, they do. <laughs> uh, Chris Strebler is uh, back in the uh, CFL. He plays for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Uh, yeah. So he is out of the NFL, but we will never forget yeah. uh, that preseason, and we will never forget yeah. that time where where uh, Zach Wilson was so bad that they had to actually put Chris Treveller into a game. <laughs> uh, and that was also because of how bad Flacco was that year that they had to resort to Chris Treveller like as the backup because like he could at Fucking. least move. Like I don't know, the the Browns have a much better offensive line and like way better weapons and way better coaching. So like it was just a yeah. bad situation for Flacco. I also yeah. kind of don't think Flacco should necessarily one comeback Didn't player. Didn't we do like year. four quarterbacks? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. He won comeback player of the year. Yeah, yes. Joe Flacco won comeback player of the year. Uh, yeah, I don't think it should have been Demar Hamlin either. I kind of think it, he didn't do shit. It should have been. It should. It honestly probably should have been Brees Hall, but like, yes, you know, no one wants to have that discussion. But Brees Hall. It should have either been like Brees Hall, um, Matt Stafford is like an honorable mention. Oh, fuck that. Here. It should have been Brees Hall. Easy. Yeah, it should have been Brees. But you know, everyone. Yeah, there you know, weren't too many comeback players this season. Yeah, so yeah, but it's it the is Browns funny that uh, cool. apparently. He's- See, this is the shit that pisses me off. The Browns had like five or four or five quarterbacks yeah, was, starting this whole season. Yeah, and I, I, the, the way Dwayne we went Thompson, about Robinson, saying, okay, Walker, Joe Flacco, Zach Wilson, and somebody else. Zach Wilson's going to be the backup. And okay, yeah, Aaron Rodgers goes down. They didn't think of anything else. To, no. Yeah. Like, and then he, they they, said uh, he's, this is his red shirt year. Yeah, 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 but, but you guys always, always, what does that mean? You're not playing. And then he was always one play away from <laughs> and now Zach is game. our guy. Zach is our guy. Yeah, yeah, and then Trump, it turned into that. They but you gotta realize shit. that's how that that's how Woody is. They're Woody, fucking hard Woody that's the no, narrative. No, I don't blame Woody. I don't, I'm not blaming Woody for this. I'm not blaming Woody. I'm blaming Joe Douglas for this shit. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Because that shit fucking pissed me off. And then what they get they get fucking some dudes that can't play in the NFL. Well, I think I think Joe Douglas After Zach Wilson. Did, I think Joe Douglas wanted a third string quarterback, an actual third string quarterback. And then and then did what? Nothing. He didn't I, I I don't think Woody gave him the permission to fucking get one. 
I honestly don't what? think he had I, I I think he had Permission. no option. Yeah, he's 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 just to the GM, man. The owner, the Excuse owner's the one spending the money. Can I please get a backup quarterback? <laughs> Fuck you. Can I have some more? Do you want to win <laughs> or not? Yeah, but Woody doesn't know shit. Woody believes well, I'm I'm pretty sure Woody Woody's on social media as much as fucking Gen so, Z. So so oh, yeah. if he told him, do you want to tell me what what I should do right now? Should I get a quarterback or not? Yeah, Yo, and he Woody, said no. Woody would Woody, Woody wouldn't listen to shit. So so you're blaming Woody for everything. No, I'm I'm blaming him for not bolstering our team with um with the backups that we needed. I'm talking about backup quarterback. Yeah, hundred percent. I, 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 look, I think Joe Douglas would have wanted a backup quarterback because look, Joe, Joe Douglas had fucking um, Nick Foles coming for a backup because he knew he he knew Nick Foles was at least worth being a fucking backup quarterback, and he got a Super Bowl out of it. Carson Wentz was calling. Yeah, Joe Flacco was calling, saying yep. we want to play. They said no. Nah, we're good. You we're think good. Joe? You think Joe said no nah to Carson Wentz? I think Woody did. I think that was a Woody decision because I would have taken fucking Carson last this fucking past season I don't know. easily. I don't know. I but, don't know uh, who, who made the decision. It was probably a combination but of both of them saying. It, no. I mean, it had to come from owner. Yeah, I mean, I'm I sure like it had to. Really, really had, had to. to. Come on. Because that's because a dude. Joe that's Douglas a dude that Joe's Carson, worked with. He's worked Joe's, with already. Yeah, because Joe Carson Wentz is Joe Douglas' guy. Yeah. So you tell me Joe wasn't he wasn't down to get Carson Wentz the backup fucking Aaron point. just just in case he got injured? Come on. I would have shit. I would have taken him easy. Yes. And put yeah, Zach at third. For, for drop the fucking, um, or whatever it was that he got. Yeah. Come on. Fuck out of here. There, there, there's no Car I, look. Carson Wentz showed you something at least. Like he was having an yes. MVP season in he like was, 2017. Yeah, the, yeah. As much as Nick Foles was like the hero of that Super Bowl, they don't get there without without Carson Wentz. Wentz, Carson Wentz he was tearing it up. Season. And if yeah. Uh, yeah, and if if Nick Foles was the quarterback the whole year, they never even like they probably they don't ever get there. They, they will probably not make the fucking playoffs. Yeah. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Who was the who was the OC in that? Uh, it was J uh, Doug Peterson. Doug, yeah, 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 he was the head coach. Head coach, yeah, he's head coach. He, I, I don't remember who the OC. Was. Oh yeah, yeah, he was the head coach. I think yeah. wasn't the OC like wasn't it like Frank Reich or something or like? Uh, mm -hmm. was, mm -hmm. Oh man, mm -hmm. it was Ooh. Frank Reich, and he still I doesn't have a job. Yeah, that nigga's gone. Well, no, no, shoot, no one's I'll enough. fucking take him over fucking. Uh, oh Hackett. yeah, easy. You take shit. I would. I, I take my little brother over Hackett. Yeah, he I mean, love about football. It would be pretty funny if we fired Nathaniel Hackett as our offensive coordinator to hire another offensive coordinator who got fired as a head coach before the season ended before <laughs> one year. <laughs> like, I heard that would be, I, I, uh, that would be something. Side note, I, I heard some talks that um we were interested in Vrabel. Wow. Well, there is, you know, there is that. For, for, for head coach, for, what, for head coach, position? for head coach. For head coach. For head coach. Hey, I, I've been seeing a lot of people getting let go. I mean, I mean we have uh, I don't want to get rid of Salah. Of, I really don't. I'd rather demote him to D.C., but I don't know if he'd accept him. that. Uh, he wouldn't. Yeah. He wouldn't. You would just get. Uh, you, what you would do is you would just get rid of him. Uh, you would keep Ulbrich as the DC, and uh, you would, you know, bring in whoever. Uh, See, but Vrabel, the thing Vrabel, is, Vrabel, I mean, Ulbrich's not Vrabel, bad. With Vrabel, apparently, like he doesn't. He, the The reason why he got fired was because he he had a lot of problems with coaches and front office and yeah like, and like a lot of the and wrong. a lot of those same and a lot of those same assistant coaches are now in uh in, uh, on the jets 
Uh, yeah, so that assistant coaches. I'm that talking about like OC, DC, and front office most most. Yeah. Well, I also heard that. Uh, I also heard that Vrabel didn't get. Uh, Vrabel didn't get hired by another by another team because uh, they were intimidated by like how big of a dude he was. <laughs> I don't care. I would want. I shit. I'd fire. Yeah. Right why? Now. Why wouldn't you want a coach that can fucking intimidate your players? Shit. Yeah. It, I, I thought, it's not I about intimidating the players. I thought I that think was solid. Like, Apparently, well, yeah, I think it's more like the GMs don't. The GMs don't want to like get their asses whooped by him. <laughs> yeah, fuck out of here, GMs. You, y- y- y'all stay in the fucking front office. Fuck out of here. Be, Rambles on the Joe field. Douglas, eh? I want Joe Douglas and, and Joe, Joe Douglas isn't Kobe. scared of nobody. No. Nah. <coughs> That's why he hired Salah. Yeah. Look, man, I, I I truly don't want to get rid of Salah. I really don't. Just I, I know Ulbrich's a good DC, but I feel like Salah's had a lot to do with that. Can we can we talk about oh. why we fired Rex Hogan? Why did we? Oh, scapegoat, Rex, scapegoat, I mean, scapegoat, scapegoat, scapegoat. If we didn't get rid of Rex, we would have had to get rid of Salah. No, Douglas. No, 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 because you can't get rid of Douglas. You can't get rid of Douglas. He's well, untouchable right now. Yeah, but Hogan's the assistant GM. Yeah, I know, I know. But they had to, look, if you're not getting rid of the assistant GM, you got to go back down. The next level is going to be the head coach. Because you're not getting rid of you, – you're not yeah, going that's up. Front that's front office. That's not coaching set. No, 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 no. I, look, I, I I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. They, they're trying to make um, make it out like, yeah, it's, um, it's a personnel issue of where we can't get the right person on the field. Right. And I, I didn't like that firing. Yeah, no, it was a bullshit firing. 100%, 100%. bullshit. 100 percent bullshit. But if they didn't, they had to they had to fire somebody for publicity. They weren't See, they weren't getting is, rid of Douglas. Is, is they the weren't getting rid of Douglas. Well, if this was this a uh, if this was like a you know like a sacrificial scapegoat type of firing, why did it happen? Why did it happen like a few weeks later uh, after you know this uh, the athletic article came out rather than like right after the season ended? Because the athletic article, I think, I think it was going to happen regardless over the off season. But the fact the article came out, it was expedited. That's it. Well, supposedly, according to the beat reporters, Hogan, uh, like, because it got announced that Hogan was fired, like, right when that shit came out. But supposedly, he had been fired or like parted ways weeks ago. And yeah, know, I'm not surprised. Reason, not surprised. The reason they had just got around to reporting it like that day, like. I'm not surprised. They they needed. I feel like after the season ended, they needed a scapegoat. He was the scapegoat. That's it. They announced it then, I guess, for that reason. But yeah, I feel like in the off season he was going to be gone no matter what. Because they they're not getting rid of Joe Douglas. Yeah, Joe Rex Douglas Hogan has, somehow like Rex Hogan somehow survived like multiple regimes with the Jets. Like, yeah, he was here before. He went to like Detroit, I think. And then yeah, came back. Wasn't he uh wasn't he on like McCagnan or Idzik's staff uh, or in that front office? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. How much input do you think Rex Hogan actually had in our offseason A lot. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. No, no, he was he gonna... went to the Colts. He was on the Colts. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I recall him being on the Colts for like a hot minute. What he was on the Colts during like the Gase yeah. years, and then he like came back. Like when yes, we when when Joe Douglas got hired, he came back when he thought his job would be safe. Nah, see, they they your try to make never, it your job is never like safe. Easy New York Jets. Because, yeah, never. Because Woody is impatient, and us fans have the power to run people out of town. It's like the perfect storm yeah. of like a big media market, uh, a, a like playoff-starved team that has n- had no success to speak of over yeah. 30 
a 13 year period. Like if you can succeed while you're here, oh, you get, you're gold. I don't think you're anyone gold. would. Uh, I don't think anyone would go to the Jets because <laughs> they go, oh, "I'll have job security here." <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like, that, that's why I feel like it, really, there was no the backlash. Reason. There was no backlash for it because he knew he knew he'd be gone. Yeah, and the only reason people really go to the Jets is because like it's like there are only like 32 of these jobs and like. Yeah, they right. have to yes. on you. yeah, I guess you got to take it. But they're so never like. He, first he was choice. on the Jets with Todd Bowles from January 2015 to May 2017. And he was the senior director of college scouting. Can we talk about went, Bowles real quick? No. Yeah. And then he went to the Colts <laughs> as VP of player personnel from 2017 to 2019. And then he came to the Jets as assistant GM. We're not talking about Todd Bowles. Yeah, no, no, no. I just want to understand why the Buccaneers think he's a good head coach. Because I honestly, like, I, I know the defense has gotten better, but why see a good? Why, like, what, what do they see in him? What does he do? I don't under, I don't understand it. I don't no, really no, no. understand just, it. They, they you just know why they were good because they, they, were they had a good offensive coordinator, and now yeah. you got hired. And a good quarterback. And what's Mike his name? Bro, Bro, what, what, what the fuck was his name? He got That's hired it. by. Uh, oh, uh, he's Conclaves. the head coach now. Canales. Yeah, yeah Conclaves. I think his name. Concla- Concla- Con- Canales or whatever the fuck. Who hired him? Who hired him? He's, um, yeah, he's the uh, Carolina Panthers head coach now. I think, and he's like, yeah, oh, like, yes. He's like, like one of the first like, team. Good luck. He's like, well, he he's like one of the first shit, like what you know coaches. Uh-uh. But what if what if he does work over there? Todd you Bowles ain't shit then. Todd, no, I'm what? sorry. I I I don't like Todd Bowles at all. I don't like him either. He sucks. And I, I was kind of glad yeah, that whole thing happened like in the playoff game against Detroit where he just didn't use the timeout at the end, like because <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Yo, and then he just let the time run out. Yeah, like and, and then he said he said, Oh yeah, no, we, we knew the game was yeah, over. Yeah. Like, nigga, this yo, is, this what? is the repeat. This is repeat. Everything. He never he was yeah. good at time management was, anyway. He was horrible. Yeah, he was horrible managing the clock in uh New York. Oh my god. And I'm just still I'm glad that good. happened because I feel like it was I feel like it like the Buccaneers having some success with Todd Bowles. Even with but they the, had uh, they had enough time on the clock to get down the goddamn field. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, that, was like, not yeah. that was not an automatic field goal. But Justin, like, you are not lying. I feel yeah, like it's it fucking nonsense. At least kick a field goal. Shit. Yeah, it, it, yeah. At least make them try it. Something could happen. You'd never fucking know. Nonsense. Like he fucking was just assuming. Nonsense. He was just assuming that the kick would have been good. It you know. Been a you know what? Game. You, yeah. know what this yeah. you know what this tells me? Everything is fucking fixed. Oh, man, if I if if it ever came out that the NFL was fixed, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how we're gonna see how fixed it is. If Taylor Swift, if if Travis Kelsey proposes after the Chiefs win, if they win, I I, I'm done. (laughs) I think uh, this is a fucking clown show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm tired well, of Taylor Swift coverage. Honestly, uh, I'm, I'm trying to just watch football. Uh, watch football. Uh, I'm tired. Reason, of, I'm tired reason, of it. Uh, the did you hear the conspiracy theory up. that Taylor that like they're using yeah. Taylor the, like as like a to, to to promote thing. Biden? First off, first off, Biden is losing 2024 election. Trump will be elected. I'm not a fan <laughs> of Trump, so don't take that as me saying I'm a fan of Trump. No, this no. is just what's gonna happen. Trump I is am. going to win. No, that that nigga's too dumb. I think it's too dumb. I, I don't time. give a shit. Yo, he's too dumb and Joe's too senile. We have two terrible Joe, choices. Joe is retarded. Anyways, I want to talk about so, Kelsey. So is Trump, uh, though. Yeah, Trump can speak. But I am, I yeah, say, yeah, he can speak. I am glad he, that uh, I am he, glad that that whole thing happened with the Bucks and Todd Bowles not using that timeout. Because I feel like I feel like the Jets were like kind of an easy target to like make fun of, like when Todd Bowles had like a little bit of success with Tampa. Like, oh look yeah. at look at him! It wasn't it wasn't that he was a bad coach. It was that uh, the Jets are a dumpster fire organization, which is true. Yeah. But like, only we're allowed to talk about the Jets like in a bad way. Other fans aren't allowed yeah. to do that. 
Niggas Ty suck, Bowles is a fucking idiot. It's it, it's like um what, what's his name on the goddamn lines? Um Campbell. Campbell. Yeah. He, he was he, also he, an idiot like, in that sequence too because yeah. he kneeled. He was having them kneel the football before the play clock fully ran out, yeah. which was what allowed there to like be time left. <laughs> and Ty, but it didn't matter because Ty Bowles was like what? even what? more she just chose not to yeah. use the timeout. She did. It was a battle of fucking here. dumbass coaches. Yeah. There is no, no. There is a difference here because Dan Campbell's been doing that shit the whole fucking oh. season. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't, <laughs> and it's been working. The only time it hasn't worked was now. Yeah, the uh, the uh, the gambling stuff it did work for uh, the, the Lions up yeah. until. So he he said, "Fuck it, I'm taking a risk." I think you know why because this motherfucker's from Texas and he thinks he's big shit. So yeah, he thought. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna fucking go. I'm like, motherfucker, you can kick a field goal. And to be and fair, to be I fair, the, the play the play that he called was a good play call because like it hit Josh mm-hmm. Reynolds right in the hands. He just didn't catch mm-hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But no, I was Josh talking Reynolds, about. If he did um, catch it, we'd be yeah. talking a different story right now. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. No, it's always it's always only thing that matters is whether or not. And Josh Reynolds is works. like Jared Goff's favorite receiver. Yeah. Over oh, yeah. Amon Ross St. Brown. Because oh, yeah. he oh, yeah. Rams. Yeah, Amon, Amon <laughs> Ra, he makes more plays. But yes, he Josh makes Reynolds better is definitely plays, but Reynolds he's is his favorite receiver. Favorite receiver for sure. Yeah. Because he had him yeah. on the Rams during the Super Bowl when they played the Patriots. Yeah, and he's kind of like a, Oh, did he? Shit. Yeah, and yes. Goff is like kind of a he's, he's been God. playing with him for that long. Okay. I, I just thought he was a favorite just because the amount of times that nigga just looks his way. Uh, no, like, he's been playing on, with nigga. him on the Rams for a while. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. But look, I'm not gonna lie, man. I I became I became a semi Lions fan <clears throat> this I season. Think all, just... I think all of America kind of became a semi Lions fan. Yeah, I wanted to see him do well. They're everything, they're well. everything that like you know, they're everything that like the Jets like should have been or wanted to be or said that they oh, were. Oh, shit. Would you take Dan Campbell over? No. Uh, so no. Uh, in a heartbeat, no. yes, absolutely. No. I'd rather be in the bite me caps off podcast than the all gas no break podcast. Look, w- would I have yeah. more fun? Would I have more fun watching the games if Campbell was our coach? Yes, hundred percent. I still. Oh, I would love it. I just like how emotional he is. Yeah, no, that, that's that's how I was thinking. He would have like got Rex, run out of town. Like Ryan, like, he would have got fired. He would have been fired after he like ring. cried at that press conference for. But like, yeah, but reason. see that that's what that's what everyone thought Salah was gonna bring, and then he just hiding it now. Yeah, like Salah used to have a guy yeah. who like he used they, to be they had running a guy. around the field. They had a guy on You're the Forty right. ers like coaching staff who was literally just the guy who held Robert Sala back, and they don't have that. Yeah, anymore. Honestly, honestly, I remember that. I like, remember that. Fuck, dude. Yes, yeah, hundred percent. Still do. That was why they like half do. of the fan base fell in love with him. I get when yeah. he, when the prospect of hiring him came and up. now now it's like he's just a puppet. Yes. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like yo man that, that that's just what he has to concede to right now. Like I feel like. Salah is just like, yo, fuck this can shit. You, can I want tell, to be, can you, I think he can wants to be out. I, you know what? I think he does, too. He does. But he do did kind of carry difference? himself like someone who wanted to be fired. Do you see? Yeah. Do, I feel like, do you see the difference in his, like, personality since yeah, he from started the, from the Niner, Well, from the Niners and even his first season with us, yeah. it's vastly different than this past season. 100%. You're 100%. right about that. Yeah. 100% you're right about that. And that's terrible because, like, that's the reason why we brought him into this fucking team was the fact that he can light that goddamn fire behind our, our players. Like, I don't understand how you can diminish that just for your own fucking uh, conceited, dumbass ways, Woody. He's, see, it's, it, and I explained this to my girl, like, the other day. I said, look at the teams that are always doing good. Baltimore. Their coaches. San Francisco. Their coaches are even, right even, there. Fucking. Even the Rams. And it, it, do you know their owners' names? No. No. Nah. No. Nah. None of them. I mean, the you don't need to know the owners' names. Like, oh, Baltimore. Do you know the owners' name? No. Nope. 
Why? Because they see the fuck out of this goddamn business. And they just Yo, think, not, not, I'm paying for shit. That's it. Not not gonna lie, look, if, if I had that, if I had billions and I had a fucking look at team, why, why do Cowboys lose all the time? Because Jerry Owners Jones is a fucking always idiot. Shit. Jerry Jones always but gets I them. would look, look, look I, I don't knock owners for being there in the spotlight. Because That's I feel fine. like if, look, if if I own a team, I, I'd a hundred percent be doing that. But I give you're, all the praise. When you're, when you're I give all the praise to the fucking to the team. To, to everybody digging, actually doing digging. work. Would you do? And would digging. you do press conferences like weekly if you were the owner? Like, would you? Oh have, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I would. One hundred percent. I I'd yeah, be giving the press wouldn't. conferences. But I would. I would have the team. I would have whoever fucking did well that that week. Who, I have them right the there next owner? to me. And be like, yo, ask him questions, talk to this motherfucker. Like, I'd be hyping up the fucking team. <laughs> who's, like, who's the chief? I, I just want to be there out of fucking. You'd be, a play, you'd be a player's owner. Do you yes, know the chief's yes, owner? 100%. Do you know? Do you know the chief's owner? Isn't it the hundred? No, nah, and, and, and I, I don't. I, I watched the fucking AFC Championship. It. Um, presentation. Do you know the Packers owner? I don't is? remember his name. There is no the Packers, owner. Pa- pa- Packers owned <laughs> by the. Uh, yeah, yeah. By, by, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the Chiefs owner like is Clark Hunt, which uh, I only know because yes, like yes. the Chiefs have been in the Hunt family for like oh, yeah, years, right. and you only know who the Hunts are because like they're actually good owners. Yes. But, yeah, yeah, exactly. The Hunts always the AFC, give their yeah. shit to the AFC their championship yeah. trophy is literally named after Lamar Hunt. Yep. Yeah. Honestly, uh, the Chiefs owner does it right. I would be I'm more upset. hyped. If I was the Chiefs, like I'd 100% be there, like with Kelsey. I'd be like, yo, don't bleep him out. Let this motherfucker say what the fuck he wants to say. I'd be hyping up the players, making sure they're having a great yeah, fucking yeah. time. I'd be hyping up the coaches, saying, yeah, it's hey, it's, all, it's all them. Night. <laughs> but like, but, but all my I did was hire people. My point, my point is when you hear any owners, at least with the good teams, you never see them in headlines. Yeah, the ones you see in headlines are the ones Billy with Johnson, the teams yeah. that fucking Jerry suck Jones. ass. Yeah. <clears throat> the pa- the Panthers but, owner. I feel like the Miami yeah. Dolphins owner is kind of bad. I was gonna say like, look, Steelers. Look at the okay, Dallas Steelers. Mavericks. Shit. Let's see. Look, look at look at Steelers. Pittsburgh Mark Steelers. Him. Do you do you ever see him? No. Nah. No, nah, you don't see him. Because he knows you know, he needs you know, trouble. He's good Tom every Brady. fucking year. They're good yep. every fucking year. Yeah, that's wild. Honestly, they're, media, man, they're, they're wild. mediocre every year. Yeah, but I take mediocre every but, year and, I mean, and a shit. good Super Bowl run. Yeah, and they yeah, and they, they have, the have what the they second got, most Super Bowl right away. With a shitty yeah. ass quarterback who's uh, look. I would have taken the the Pittsburgh honestly, Steelers position over what we had. Sure, I, I, yeah. sure I would too. Uh, but I mean, yeah. the Steelers aren't exactly like. The standard uh, for like you know what a team should be. Yeah, no, no, no. but guess, look at the history. I mean, yeah. they're uh, they're really like they're pretty much like cashing their checks off the fact that you know they haven't had a losing season in like twenty years. Yeah, uh, Tomlin, shit. Tomlin, Tomlin, that. Tomlin, not the Steelers. Tomlin hasn't had a losing season. I well, it, it dates back to <clears throat> it dates back to Bill Cowher too. Okay, fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's I'll, fair. I'll, I'll still they take that over what the entire... fuck we're doing now. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would too. I would. There really aren't many situations that I wouldn't take over what the fuck we're, we're doing. Right oh now. shit! <laughs> like I shit. I'd rather be the Browns than us right now. All right, who's yeah, the well, Miami owner? Who's the Miami owner? I forget no, his I name, but like I, I, I know it's at the tip of my tongue. Yo, so I, um, playing devil's Buffalo advocate Bills. right here. No idea. I only know Jerry Jones and Woody because you know they're fucking vocal. <laughs> Forty you know, nine. Uh, nah. Is it Jed York or not? Is that the GM? But no, uh, John Lynch. John Lynch. Is, is Jed York the owner of the 49ers? or who the fuck's Jed York? Uh, yeah, yeah, Jed York's the owner. I think yeah, yeah, he is the owner for the 49ers. <laughs> Yo, impossible scenario. Would y'all take Belichick? No, he's not coming here. No, I, I, I just said impossible scenario. Not gonna happen. Oh. I just asked oh, the oh. opinion. 
Would you take nah. Belichick to be head coach? Uh, no, nah, because uh, after number one, him and it would never work with him and Aaron Rodgers. Number two, yeah, after, Aaron Rod- after Aaron Rodgers retires, I don't know. You're, you're gonna have to develop a new quarterback, and uh, I think Belichick's proven that like he can't develop quarterbacks anymore. Can he not develop quarterbacks or Bailey Zappi well, and Mac, Mac Jones is Aaron really Rodgers. bad? Um, I would say I, I, I don't think they'd mesh. I don't think they'd mesh at all. I'd say it's a little bit of both, uh, but I think there's a I think there's a reason why I think there's a reason why Bill Belichick like didn't get hired and like by any team and like everyone chose. Yeah, because he's fucking old. Yeah, I think he's outdated. I think he's yeah. outdated. Yeah, he, he hasn't adapted to the new game. He was, he's, he's, he's a horrible uh, GM too. Like his drafting. Yeah. Horrible. Yes, I yeah, would. Terrible. I would take him if he's <laughs> not the GM. If he's not the G- – no, he, he he wouldn't accept it. I know he wouldn't. If Belichick uh, – if, if Belichick can't, were to come back, he, he would have – like, Belichick could have hit up Woody and been like, yo, let's bury the hatchet, let's figure this shit out. And then he'd have him fire Salah and come back, and then he would probably, like, resign on a napkin again. <laughs> like, oh, that'd be terrible. <laughs> that'd be fucking terrible. Yeah. And Woody would believe that shit, too. Only I really like. I'm. 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 I want Woody to sell the team. He's. It's not gonna. Shit. If it happens in our lifetime, I'd be glad. That's it ain't gonna, gonna happen. happen. No. Yeah. I'm gonna wait till that motherfucker dies. Yeah. So like, last when he dies, it's gonna go to his fucking heirs, and I don't know how the fuck. I'm pretty sure they'll fuck it up too. <laughs> yeah, and Joe Namath is gonna take over. <laughs> yeah, Chris, Chris really is. Uh, Chris is like just as bad, if not worse. Since uh, yeah, whoever, Chris is terrible. Chris whatever is terrible. kids they have, I doubt they're even like. You know, I, I highly doubt they're even like <clears throat> at any of these Jets games. They're probably like going out doing other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, this team sucks ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, but so, um, unfortunately, Jets fans are always going to go to games and bring them money. Yep, we're part of the problem. Yeah. We're part of the problem. Uh, I'll say so- if we take fucking three weeks off, just not going to games, like literally every Jets fan is like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not buying a ticket. I'm not reselling my ticket. Just say, hey, fuck it. Y'all are terrible. Do yeah. something better. Even then, Maybe they'll listen. Even then, though, they're still making money off of all the season ticket holders and PSL yep. holders because those people are eating their tickets and eating yeah. their costs, and they have the PSLs, which like <clears throat> people are have been, like been locked into like since like the day MetLife Stadium was built. Like, so they would still be like they would still like be making a profit, and so they probably still wouldn't care. <clears throat> Which is a fucking shame. That's how you know they don't give a fuck about football. It's a fucking joke. Yeah, and they'd it's still all about the bottom line. Yeah, I mean, I guess it, I guess if no one showed up, the game wouldn't and, be and, out. And guess what? what? FIFA, FIFA uh, the yeah. the World Cup's coming in in what two years? Yeah. Yeah, man. I already put my um. I, I already put my name to get notifications because you can't put your uh, name down for the uh. See, to, you know, you're, I'm, you're contributing already. No, 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 no money down, no money down. I'm just gonna get the first, uh, get one of the first thousand millions of emails. Yeah. Well, look, I- I'll go to a game no matter <laughs> where the fuck it is. But if I can get a game at Metla, if I if I can be there for the finals, fuck yeah, I'm buying that ticket. I don't care how much it costs. All right, finals is different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm buying that ticket no matter what. That that shit ain't gonna be at MetLife. I can tell you that shit. Cause no, the finals. No, no, the, 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 fi- the finals at MetLife. Everybody from Europe is going to come around and look at me like, what the, what the fuck is this shit here? Uh, what the no, fuck? No, no, no. This, Yo, this give is it, some give nasty give it. ass shit. Give no, it. but it's literally been announced. 2025, uh, New Jersey yeah, and New York are going to clean their shit up. New Jersey and New York are going to clean their shit up for yeah, tours. They better. They yeah, got 100%. Yeah. They got, they got they're going to. to clean it. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. going to. Yeah, look, after look, um, after the riots in New York City, after Trump gets reelected, there it's going to be like a two year cleanup to get ready for the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh man, <laughs> Trump's going to be elected. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, and then oh, they're they're gonna, gonna bring in, they're gonna bring in grass for the uh, World Cup, and then as soon yep. as the World Cup's over, they're gonna rip it out and put the shitty turf back down. Of course, fucking of assholes. Course. <laughs> Oh, everyone's uh, gonna get everyone's gonna yeah. get injured. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yeah, could you imagine? Oh, that'd be wild. That'd yeah, be wild. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, Woody was saying that him and the Giants owner discussed like once a week how they need to get grass, but that they, but that is hard because of all the events they have. It's like, oh, but like the World Cup's coming, and all of a sudden it's not a fucking problem. Yeah, it's not a problem now. No, no, of course. <laughs> be a they're bringing, no, no, no. They're bringing in so much more money. So much more money. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they don't give a shit. Fucking, that's billions of dollars. Yeah, like they don't <clears throat> give a fuck about you. You don't get. Yeah, it. they're gonna have. Um, no. Yeah, like basically the World Cup being at MetLife is basically like Woody's. Woody's thinking like how how not good the Jets have to be that year because <laughs> like he'll make all his money off the World Cup like. And That's like, probably why he said what he said. Jets, Jets season yeah. ticket holders could Jets, Jets fans and season ticket holders could all boycott, and they could all like freeze their bank accounts and not make their payments, and he'd still be sitting on money. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. Let me, let me, what, let me what speak. It, let me speak it into uh, the the younger kids' terms, Bruh, He said, "Fuck the Jets." The World Cup coming. Damn right. He's That's making – he could lose millions for the next two years. Yeah, like he might – you know, he, he might pretend back. like – he might pretend like he wants the team to be good. And this, like, and this motherfucker has the nerve to increase yeah. the prices. Yeah, and yeah, charge people. <laughs> and charge people their first payment in, in November when, like, <laughs> they're in the midst of, like, a, like eight-game losing streak or whatever it yeah. was. Yeah, fucking wild. <laughs> I'm never paying. I'm never paying. I'm not. I'm not going to a game of MetLife again until he's out. Shit, I might. I might go to a fucking island game of MetLife. <laughs> oh, the, uh, you're gonna go to the uh, stadium series game? Yeah, considering uh, what's his name? I, Sean. Sean, the, Sean said he can get tickets. Um, hmm. Cost two fifty. I've seen. Looking? I've seen tickets cheaper than that on StubHub for that game. Cheaper than two fifty? I, yeah. I haven't seen. I haven't seen cheaper than. Uh, I mean, th- there are some nosebleeds that are somewhat cheaper, but these are in. Uh, are these like dope two, seats? Yeah, they're, they're better seats. They're much <laughs> better seats. Like that, it's a resale for someone that he knows. No. <laughs> so well, two fifty is not bad, but I don't know if I want to spend two fifty. Go watch the fucking Islanders play the Rangers. Probably fucking lose. No, nah, the Islanders yeah. are gonna win that game. Oh, so no, 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 no. never losing a game again. It's a game that oh, I wish. It's a game we need to win. I was surprised. How, 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 yeah. the, how the Islanders looking? Hey, they, our last game we very good whooped the past, Tampa. They look very good. Tampa the past past. Games. What's your yeah, game? Like honestly, Patrick games? Waugh is doing some, doing some fucking work. We're currently, uh, we're currently two games. We're tra- we're currently two points out of the uh, final playoff spot. Yeah, All we gotta do but, is get it. But where, we, where we but, but, but they're a team that haven't played as many games as we have. What do you say? I know we're in first. I know we're in first, right? Yeah, fuck them <laughs> niggas. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, uh, four, points. four points ahead of the uh, uh, Hurricanes. Man, fuck the Hurricanes. I, at least they got two teams I can count on. <laughs> <laughs> all about the Knicks. It's all all about, about the Knicks and the, the Knicks are doing well too. Fuck, fuck out of here, shit. Yeah. We whooped that ass that, that that day. I call. I jinxed your ass. I made sure I did that. Fuck the Knicks. Truthfully, fuck them. Fuck them. I, I don't want to see him do well. Nah. You're just a hater. You ain't gonna see nah. us because y'all gonna lose already. <clears throat> now nah, look, look. We, we we can get in the play in and make a run. I don't give a fuck who we're playing in the playoffs. You're gonna you're gonna be a run and done. Mm, I don't know. We haven't been yet. <laughs> Look, man, uh, I, we, we, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for we, playoff Jimmy. <laughs> uh, damn right, playoff Jimmy, baby. <laughs> damn skinny. <laughs> Shit, man. Come on. 
Who's a Yo, better playoff me, player than give me, other, give me other a, than give LeBron? A, other than LeBron, me. there's no better playoff <laughs> player than fucking Jimmy. Nobody. Oh. Nobody. Damn. Fucking love it. And nah, we got Terry. Yeah, Yo, nah, Ter- Terry nah, Rozier is finally starting to look good. Terry Rozier. Oh. Yeah, he no, he is uh I don't know. His that first, his like first like 10 weed games weed with us sometimes. was terrible. Terrible. That nigga look like he sell weed instead of playing basketball. <laughs> <laughs> as long as as long as he adapts to the fucking heat culture and he does work in the playoffs, Actually, that's nah, all I care nah. about. He he Yo, nah, he so hard he so that hard white. Yeah. Look, For sure. I got faith. I, I got it. faith in them. I got as long as we can make the play in, I got faith in us winning winning the play in. And winning at least the first round, at least the first fucking round. <laughs> Terry Rozier is that nigga French? <laughs> ah, probably. He, he's, <laughs> no, he's probably he's that, probably Asian. He's probably you Asian. know what that I, I was gonna say that's as Haitian as it gets. Yeah, yeah, he's probably Haitian. <laughs> yeah. Listen, take your heat culture and shove it up your ass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how are the uh, <clears throat> so how are the Jets? jump on, jump on. Yeah, could you imagine if the Heat culture was the Jets culture? We'd be actually a good team. Man, fuck. Yeah, no, well, the Jets. No. The Jets don't have no. culture. No, 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 the Jets have dick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so and, and specifically, they have the Woody Johnson. Yeah. If you want yeah, to very, make very, that clear. Yeah, very, very, <laughs> a very small Woody, very small Johnson. Last week we talked about uh, offensive linemen. Let's talk Let's a little bit about that. I was Let's talk a little bit about wide receiver and how to upgrade that yeah. position room. Calvin, Calvin Ridley. You think? Do you think? Uh, <clears throat> do you think it's gonna? Do you think Calvin Ridley is ultimately who they're gonna get? He looked I like want, shit this I, past season. I, I don't care. No, he'll look good on the Jets. It's I don't crazy. know about that. I don't. I'm not sure either. He, he has games in Jacksonville where he just like. He Which, is, like, uh, disappear and like because, not, because not Trevor Lawrence, they don't give him the ball. Well, yeah, Trevor. I watched. I watched Jacksonville games. They don't give him the ball. They give it to Travis Atn and fucking Evan Ingram. <laughs> and Jeff, the, uh, I've been they, they, them. But they, they had another wide receiver that put up more yards than him. I can't fucking yeah, remember his uh, name. What the was, fuck was his name? Was it Zay the Jones? Dude who would be losing? Zay hair. Jones. No, not Jones. him. Uh, another one. Um, shit. He always be catching passes. He be getting no, more yards right. than everybody. No, you, you're um, right. It, it, uh, it, it, it ain't Zay. It ain't Zay. It's you're not right Zay Jones. That. It's uh the short well, I, dude with curly hair. DJ Chark. No. 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 Uh, Light skin dude. Lavishka uh, Chanel. Kirk. Kirk. Oh yeah, yes, Christian Kirk. Kirk. Yes, Kirk. He's always throwing up. the Christian I Kirk. That shit up. <laughs> yes, hundred percent. Christian Kirk gets gets yes. more targets. I, but you look, know why I know because I always picked him on prospects, and he always went over. <laughs> Calvin Ridley was dead. <laughs> look, I I drafted Calvin Ridley on my fucking um in my dynasty league. Because I thought it this nigga like was going to fucking show up, and this nigga's done nothing. Nothing. He's had, like, maybe four or five great games. Yeah, and he's, he's like a man of the See, people he wants to be. The thing, the thing is, with Calvin Ridley, it's, it's hard for that dynamic to show up, at least in this Jets offense. One, because Calvin Ridley and Garrett Wilson are both – they're both good route runners. And it's hard to have two good route runners that are like pristine and give them the ball at all times. So it might be the same situation as Jack Jacksonville. Well, but, but then there uh, are we don't I'll, have any other receivers that are good. I'll counter you. I'll count you the fucking Bucks where you got Mike Evans, Godwin doing work. But Baker figured out how to fucking Godwin, still. Godwin wasn't doing that much work. Mike nah. Evans is. I, f- I feel like Godwin wasn't doing work just because anytime because he was he's looking more hurt. for he was looking more for um I think he's just looking towards Evans more so. 
Because Evans mm-hmm. will just make dumbass catches, doesn't matter what. He's a bigger target. Yeah. The Garrett Wilson I, and Kevin Ridley honest. are the same receiver. Yeah. I'll be honest. So it's all I, know about- that, I know that like basically the uh I know basically like the Devontae Adams dream supposedly died like when they rehired Antonio Pierce as their coach, but I still kind of think we might get Devontae Adams. I would love to get him. I love to get him. I I still kind of think it's a possibility. Like, the Raiders do have, like, some cash problems. Apparently, like, they might be a little cash poor. Um, You know, and I just – I don't really know, like, what direction they're going to go in a quarterback. We'd have to give up someone um, someone on defense to get him, I think. I think we have to give up. We would have to give up. We'd probably have to just give up, like – a pick or something, or or would you w- would you take say, say we uh picks. Huff Huff's Huff's contract is ending, isn't it? Huff is a se- yeah. yeah. He's got to be at least a second round pick. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll Huff Huff for, for Adams. We're losing Huff for nothing. Uh, yeah, we're not franchising we Adams for him. We're not going to franchise we're tagging, Huff. and we're not going to we're not going to do a tag and trade. Everyone says we're going to do a tag and trade, but like that would require so that would require a team. To give up a second round pick for Bryce Huff and then sign him to an extension for like $20 million a year, it's not going to happen. He's going to walk and it's going to be a bidding war and the Jets are going to be outbid by somebody. That's just what's going to happen, unfortunately. They could have, they could have been proactive. They could have paid him like at any point in time, but they just chose to, they just chose to let it get to this point. What is an idiot? (laughs) Sad. Um, speaking of speaking of JFM, is there? Do you guys think would there be any chance where the Jets might like in a surprise move possibly trade him? So that's like I feel I like. Think, been, I, I was thinking they negotiate and try to uh, lower his contract, restructure. Yeah. Yeah, restructure. I could see, and maybe not lower, but I could see them maybe restructuring and kind of kick some money down the road and open up some cap space for this year. I mean, they should because I don't think we should lose anyone on defense, but I know we will. Yeah, but... I mean, we're gonna lose Huff. They're, they're, they're well, gonna Carl Lawson's gone. Take that place. Yeah, that's fine. I think, Lawson, I think Michael Clemens might be gone too. Well, good riddance. He's he gets more too. fights and he makes tackles. Clemens can leave too. I don't want to lose Huff, but I know we will. Uh, we should bring back. Uh, we should bring back Solomon Thomas on like a cheap one year deal. We need some. Uh, yeah, we need some, some bodies on the interior. And and oh, Quentin, Quentin Jefferson. Yeah, yeah, I would like Quentin him. Jefferson. Al Woods. I liked Al Woods a lot before he got. I hurt. did too. Shit, sign him for another one year deal. Fuck it. Yeah, one year like. Prove your prove you can still play off the rotational. They're both they're fans. both still playing at a high level. I I'd still put them in rotational. But I feel like they I feel like they're leaning towards giving um giving more of the rookies a chance to prove Which that rookies? they can ex- McDonald's one. Well, that's McDonald's why they, yeah, that's why they're that's losing. That's why Huff is going to be gone. <clears throat> it's so stupid. Yeah. yeah. And like it, it well, is apparently for a variety like, well, of reasons because, because we wouldn't have to, to even have this conversation about like what wide receivers we should get uh, if they would have just like maybe drafted Zay Flowers. I mean, say what you will about the dumb shit he did in the AFC Championship game. I still love to have Zay Flowers. Nah, I definitely take Zay. Definitely. Oh, <laughs> apparently, he had multiple wide receivers. You know, like we'll probably get like we probably need to get like you know a high end to. Like a Calvin mm-hmm. Ridley, a T. Higgins, or like a Devontae Adams. Yeah. Although Devontae yeah. Adams, I mean, would be like a one. Devontae's the only chance. Devontae's the only chance. We ain't getting anyone else. What? I would say. I don't think he is a no. chance. I think. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm not saying he's a chance. I'm just saying that's the only chance of a solid, solid number two. Solid. Oh. Well, what about like, um, well, it was oh. T. Higgins. Oh. T Higgins ain't coming over here. Why? How do you know? Nigga, why? They can't pay him. One reason, one reason T Higgins wants to get the ball thrown to him from an old ass 40 year old that might die (laughs) during the fucking season. 
Uh, I'm, than, right than, I'm on. I'm on option number one. You you didn't even let me speak. Option one, Devontae. That's it. There I'm, there I'm, are no other options. If you want a solid, me? if you want a solid number two, that's it. That's, that's not it. a number two. That's a number one. That's nah, a one. Garrett, that's like a Garrett, one a one Garrett's one. Garrett's yeah. one. Garrett's one. Garrett's got nah. dope ass the, the, dope ass Devontae crowd running. One. Garrett is one. <laughs> not a uh, Garrett's <laughs> one. One B. Well, A also got remember like I don't know the the Aaron Rodgers, uh, Devontae Adams. They have years and years of rapport. Look, he'll he'll, he'll he make him, him, he'll Garrett. look. He'll try to make Devontae one hundred percent, but Garrett's just so goddamn good that you you have to throw the ball his way. You have to throw you have to throw him the ball. You have yeah. to. Yeah, eventually you're gonna have to throw him the ball. No, no, not eventually. I'm talking about game one. Right where the fuck we play? Game one. He's gonna one. be like, "Yo, Devontae, man, I'm sorry. I understand mm-hmm. you're about to get open, but Garrett was right there." You think so? Yes, hundred percent. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers Garrett, is very picky. I don't know if you know that. Don't give a fuck. Garrett is that good, and Aaron I mean, Rodgers, yes, I mean, he's Aaron, picky, but he yeah, wants but to he, win. He has. He wants to win. Yeah, no, 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 but he wants to win. I'm sorry, yo. Aaron, Aaron's playing. a competitive ass motherfucker. He I can wants see, to win. I can see it being a situation where, like, if we were to get Devonte Adams, I can see it being a situation where, like, early in the year, he's like really trying to feed Devonte. And like him and Garrett Wilson are kind of still like building chemistry, but like by the end of the year, it'll be like Garrett Wilson's the unequivocal one, and Devontae Adams isn't even a one B anymore. Like Devontae Adams will be like the two. Uh, I think Aaron Rodgers is intelligent enough where he realize it doesn't take to the end of the season Devontae to realize Adams that is he's gonna notice old. that early on in the season, and he's gonna use Garrett more so than Devontae. But 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 that also depends on the defense that we're facing. Like if Garrett is locked down, you don't say. And Garrett, who who is actually capable of, of locking Garrett down though? He's a separation nobody. machine. Nobody. Ooh, I haven't capable. seen anybody lock. Who would be nobody. capable of actually locking him down? Like when he has a competent quarter. I mean, people can't lock him down, and he has like, and, you know, he has like yeah, exactly. quarters next throwing to him. Like what's Yo, how are they gonna? How are corners gonna cover him? When he has like a real quarterback, given a nah, I I I, I truly feel I I feel terrible for Garrett for that sole reason is that he creates separation where a quarterback should notice it. Oh, he's a goddamn ball every game, Garrett every he fucking game. Best, he might be the best like receiver at creating separation in the league. He's definitely like he's hundred percent up there. Top, he's top definitely like in the top like three, two or three in that category. It's like him, like he's right there. I'm with gonna, the I'm gonna players. make, I'm gonna make a stat and put him at number one. At, at, at creating uh, separation creating space. Yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like he, he does it. He does it so yeah. easily too. So like, if you watch him run his routes, he already knows. Like, yeah, no, no. I'm watching film. You're watching film. You think I'm gonna do this? I'm gonna do this. You're gonna bite. I'm I'm there, and that's where the quarterback should hit him. That's it he's on like, the no, fucking count on the goddamn watching, count. He's like, you're watching, you're watching film. Nah, you're watching dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like it's honestly, uh, if Garrett leaves us, I can't blame him. They need to. Yeah, they, 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 need to this, they need to get this thing it. right this year. Can't they need to get this Can't thing right, or else he will leave. I think if he, he was leave. playing for any uh, any other, and then and then all these Joe Douglas, that was that happens, and then all these Joe Douglas shit. defenders who reference the twenty twenty two draft can stick it up their ass. What good is it if no one wants to stay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yo, you're right about that. Damn, Damn right about that. Yeah. Hopefully, Bree should leave too. But uh, I don't want uh, either. I, mean, Brees, I don't want Brees either. Was already, uh, Brees was already South throwing Street. shade at the coaches and stuff. He was saying how uh, during the NFC Championship game, he was saying how the way they're using Jameer Gibbs right now is, is an RB's dream. Like basically saying yeah. like, Nathaniel Hackett could never. Did yeah. you see Brees Hall's top five running back? 
Uh, <laughs> who's he got? He's got CMC. He had CMC at like three. He had three. Like Jam- number one. Jameer Gibbs at four. Uh, Bijan Robinson at two, and he was number nah, one. Nah, that's wild. Who was five? <laughs> Wait, oh, who's no. one? Who's one? Who's one? Him. Himself. Himself. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Bijan ain't no two. Bijan, look, Bijan is dominant because they only mm. use him. Well, Bijan is uh, Bijan's about to be free. No, from, they uh, they in fucking cahoots because the only reason he made that oh, yeah. top five Number, was because Bijan put him in his top five. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, number five. Yeah, Brees's number five is Derrick Henry slash David Montgomery. Yeah, that's wild. That's oh, wild to compare those two. Fuck out of I here. Feel like, see, I'm telling you, these, they're all in cahoots. I'm like, do you That's even right. watch football? And you play? Yeah. <laughs> First off, one is McCaffrey. No matter what, I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Yeah, McCaffrey is number insane? one. McCaffrey is number one. No yeah. matter what, I don't give a fuck how no good shit. you think you are. But this, this is the craziest time. I never thought a white white boy would be a oh yeah running back number one. Yeah. But I don't think he's white. I think he's black. Oh, he's like he's, the Eminem of running backs. Yeah, I no, no, I I I want an ancestry DNA test on him because <laughs> no, I know Ed McCaffrey's his daddy. His his brother is actually uh, entering the draft for what position? I think he's a wide receiver. Oh, that nigga's about to tear it up. That nigga's about to be the next uh, Randy Moss. Yeah, he he was in the Senior Bowl. He's about the Wait. next Randy Moss, <laughs> probably shorter. Probably shorter. Uh, I doubt he's CNC's brother. Yeah, I don't man. know how tall he is, uh, but hey, man, yeah. I, I got faith in that family. Yeah, it's I mean, definitely African genes fucking killing it there. Their dad, yeah, I mean, their father Ed. Yeah, he was also a great white wide receiver. <clears throat> so why why yeah. receivers really like that family's pedigree? Christian just kind of uh, mm. got away from it. <laughs> no, 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 no. He he didn't get away from it. He's He's not a running back. He's not a running back. He's not a wide receiver either. If, if, he's Debo, not a wide receiver either. if Debo Samuel's a yes. wide back, then uh, if the Debo thing. Samuel's a Ooh. wide back, then Christian McCaffrey is a running receiver. Yes, yes, he's, yes, he's, yes. I'll give you no, that. 100%. No, Christian McCaffrey is an athlete. Mm-hmm. That's his yeah, position. That's, that's, that, that's normally the, that, that's normally the term that the NFL gives to the um, like Lamar Jackson. <laughs> he's like, What's nah, up, yo? What, Christian what McCaffrey, he's not play? a. Uh, I play I'm athlete. Hundred percent. That's what I'm we. Th- 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 that's what. Um, I don't know who thought, but uh, that's what Ashton Davis should have been. <laughs> Ashton Davis. Had a good, Ashton Davis had he, a pretty good year. Yes, yes. I'm not shitting on this year. I wouldn't mind bringing him back. Uh, we're gonna need, we're gonna need, uh, you know, safety help, and I wouldn't mind having Ashton Davis back. So uh, that means yeah, we have one player safety. from Joe Douglas's first draft that actually has somewhat panned progressed. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. The best, the best pick from that draft was. Was Ashton uh, Davis? And he's like he's like a solid, Ashton. and he's like just like he's basically a solid backup. He's not even really a starter. Yeah. Damn. He's a starter on remember, special teams. Remember when everyone said Denzel Mims should have been a first round pick? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, ah. yeah. Remember, remember when people were like, "Oh yeah, Joe Douglas is so good because." He could have had Denzel Mims 12 picks earlier, but he moved back 12 spots and still got it. <laughs> God. I, you know, I was not a fan of that pick at all. I was like, oh, I was, I was, Christ. I was. You were? We need a wire, I was, because we needed wide receivers, and the motherfucker, had, he looked like he had potential. Apparently, it doesn't translate to the NFL <clears throat> at all. Who, who, who else was left on the board? I want to know. Uh, Jalen yeah, Hurts. Know. Oh no, Jalen Hurts was the pick right before. I think. Shit. Yeah, we probably we probably could have got someone that's more elite. I know than that. Uh, I know that with the original draft pick, uh, 
before we traded back, Claypool was still on the board. Not that Claypool's like. Oh. <laughs> nah, I still would have taken. Yeah, he's, he's done. He's done more in the league than Denzel Mims has. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, would definitely see, take he, Claypool. He, they fucked up because they should have just made him a tight end. Yeah, yeah. What? So but was, he was like six foot five. But at that time, yeah, look, man, Tom and I'm pretty sure Tom is like, look, man, we can use him more. Make him wide receiver. Because he didn't have shit. And he still no. he still made it work. He, he still, still don't have shit. Made it All work. he has is what? George Pickens. Yeah, Pickens ain't bad. And the Deontay Johnson, I think. Yeah, Deontay Johnson's picked his shit up. He, well, he's been hurt all season. Yeah, but when he's on the field, he's he's yeah, shown that no, he's, he like he's De- Deontay was just a punt runner basically. Like yeah, they they, the they toss him, like yeah. they, they they toss him as a fucking wide receiver because they had nobody else. Right. But he's shown his worth. He's shown his worth. I'll give Deontay Johnson <laughs> his fucking. You know what's funny? I found uh, Rex Hogan's resume Uh-oh. on link on LinkedIn. Oh, you found this link. I still don't got a fucking link. Yeah, that that's how I, that's how I uh, was telling you. I what, still don't have one where, of those shit. Where he was working. All right. Um, oh, I I got I got one too. That's how I know. Um, you want to play some? Uh, where they go to college? Super Bowl edition. Yeah, I'm down. I think uh, I think Justin just went and took a uh, phone call. Oh yeah, we also had a uh, we also had another uh, assisted from our front office uh, leave the Jets this week uh, a couple of days ago. Chad Alexander <clears throat> uh, what left the uh, he left. The, I forget what his role was with the Jets, but he left to become the uh, assistant general manager. Uh, I think it was director of player personnel. Yeah, yeah, and he, uh, yeah, and uh, our player personnel kind of, yeah, he was. I'm looking at his LinkedIn now, and uh, uh, our our player personnel was pretty shit. So uh, you know, <laughs> but I guess he's, I well, guess he's good enough he, that he got he's with Jim it. Harbaugh now. I bet he's loving yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably be the GM in no time. Well, actually, they just yeah. hired a new GM because they cleaned house. But yeah, the shit, Chargers, uh, a- Chargers are going to be scary. Be I good. know. That's like another – like if the Jets are competing for the playoffs, like if the Jets are competing for the playoffs, that's another team we got to, like, worry about now is the Chargers. Oh, but, uh, and Jim yeah. Harbaugh does good everywhere he goes. That's what's scary. Yeah, and we decided to stick with Robert Sala when he was available. Stupid. Fucking stupid. Anyway – uh, I'm down to do some trivia whenever Justin comes back. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take a piss and and uh, okay. and then uh, yeah, uh, just fill the dead air. Uh, speak. All right, I got the dead air. All right, so here we are. The Jets end of the season at seven and ten. We're in the midst of who knows what. What is going on? Everything Yo, Jim is Harbaugh ain't gonna like do shit. going into shambles. Jim Harbaugh. Like Jim Harbaugh. What do you mean? He everywhere he goes, he he wins. Yeah. No, no, no. no. So I get that. I get that. Hundred percent. I get that. Not the charges. Them Not the charges. I'm sorry, I, I really don't have faith in them for staying healthy. Just, just, just for not staying healthy. Yeah, I'm well, sorry. you'll see what Mike he does Williams, in the offseason. You know, I guarantee you he changes what, everything. Do, yeah, I bet you Mike do, Williams is gone. I bet you Quentin Johnson's gone, too. Then who the fuck is Herbert throwing to? Oh, just I'm Keenan sure Allen? we'll find somebody. Just Keenan Allen? Oh, that uh, motherfucker be hurt too all the time. Exactly, they all get hurt. And then, and then what? You're just gonna rely on Austin Eckler? No. How old is he now? Fucking 30, 30, 32, <laughs> Jim Harbaugh about to tear up free agency. I guarantee it. Austin Eckler, Austin Eckler might be a Jet actually. 
I don't <laughs> think he has the personnel around him to do work this season. Do yeah, I think he do work of- in the NFL? Yeah, of course. But I don't think he has the personnel <laughs> to do work this upcoming season at all. Well, this, this nigga just well, loves to hear himself. Free agency has Damn right, I do. The draft and free agency <laughs> haven't happened yet, and the Chargers are going to have a pretty good pick. Uh, so they're yeah. going to have an opportunity to – their team's going to look a lot different than it looks right now. They have the fifth the overall pizza pick. man. They're probably going to get Brock Bowers, and they're probably going to terrorize the league, honestly. God who's, damn. Who's, 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 who's Brock? Brock what Bowers position? is tight end from Georgia. He's, like, generational. Tight end? Justin doesn't tight end generational? Cars. Oh, so 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 the wide receivers might not get injured this season, is what you're saying. They may or may not, but they'll have. But even if they do, they'll also have Brock Bowers. Even if they, nah, stop, stop, stop. You any stop. team can. Any team can even, no, no, no! Don't tell me to stop. You don't even know who Brock Bowers is, and you're like, nah, I don't, because I don't, I don't pay attention to college at all, at all, and not at all. No, but you, you know what? Brock Bowers actually just got Bowers. hurt. <laughs> it is gonna hurt for the season. <laughs> San Diego. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. San Diego Superchargers. Charge. Superchargers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Fuck them. They're stupid. Stop. I don't believe. I don't believe they have an injuryless season because yeah. their no, team. I don't, I don't, their I team don't. is fucking stacked. I mean, he's not he's not going to flip this team in one year, but uh, it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a struggle for this year, for sure. I know it's going to be because it's always a struggle because they get injured. Chargers are making the playoffs this year. You heard it here first. Yeah, no, no injuries, no injuries. There'll be some injuries, but they'll overcome it because they have a good coach. That's what good coaches do. I don't know if it works that way. They coach up Whoa, the who, players. Who's the GM? I want to know who the GM is. They, they hired someone. It's probably just Jim Harbaugh, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Jim Harbaugh is just running the show. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking Jim Harbaugh. I'm not knocking him at all. I'm saying I'm the Chargers. The Chargers always have injured ass motherfuckers. And <laughs> goddamn season. Yeah, you know, like, get injured a lot. <laughs> like, it's yeah, early injuries, but uh, they will overcome them. So uh, they haven't been able to yet. And Herbert, and they had, be, yeah, because they had Herbert like be a think, top five or something. I was gonna say, they had a make a wish head coach. Now what, they, have, what, what? they have a legitimate one. That ain't, of, that course, of course, they have a make it. Of course, it's a make a wish because the the wide receivers are like, yeah, man, my wish is to be fucking healthy. Why, Justin, let me ask you a question. Why do you think Jim Harbaugh took the job? At, uh, because Chargers? because he likes Justin Herbert. Yes, hundred percent. Right. That's, that's the reason. That's I wanted to ask. That's right, the reason the why. And page. I'm I'm not not and Justin I'm pretty Herbert. sure I'm pretty you know, sure everybody's on the same page with that too. Yeah, but look, when your receivers go down, what's Justin Herbert supposed to do? Take the fourth string oh. to the fucking Super Bowl. To shit, <laughs> nigga. What quarterback has ever done that? Uh, Tom Brady has dragged plummets to the Super Bowl. Yeah, year, that's year, true. No, 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 no. His defense dragged them there. His defense has always kept them in the game. That's a different story. If their defense was elite, then yeah, I'd be down. Their defense is not elite. Uh, I mean, if you're asking about people dragging fourth string receivers to the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes is literally doing it right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I will give you 100 percent. Yes, 100 percent. Yes, that, that's I'll give you Mahomes Brady, right now. Too, because right now, good. yeah, he had Grunt. The only one he's got is what Kelsey, and Kelsey's been falling off, and but he's been playing good in the playoffs. But yeah, no, the playoffs he's been fucking phenomenal. But you're gonna tell me this this new tight end is gonna be the next Kelsey? If this new uh, tight end is fucking I mean, Kelsey, he was, let's take that fucking he legitimately, no, no. He, no, he, he, he legitimately he, might be like insanely good. Like everyone was hyping up Kyle Pitts like a few years ago. This guy's like a million times better. Moa, please vouch for me. Yes, he he's all right. 
prospect wise, he is going to be his good. His floor is George Kittle. He's up there. His, yeah, his, his floor, floor, his floor, his floor is, is, Kittle is George, is George Kittle. Kittle. Yeah. Yes. The so, ceiling is he could be like uh, this dude. This dude is insane. He is nasty. He he in in like his injury kind of like ruined his draft. Well, actually, it really didn't ruin his draft stock because he's still gonna be picked in the top ten. He's That's gonna, how. Yeah, he'll he probably is. be top five. Yeah, and I don't. I don't see him getting are, past San Diego. Uh, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna deny how great, um, h- how good a great tight end could change an entire team. Hundred percent. I mean, it, but this kid is good. He's good at pass blocking. He's good at catching the ball. Like he's, he's like what six five, and he's the perfect tight end size. He's like your typical well, tight end. That, but he's like really athletic. That helps with any scheme like, you want to you know run for the you offense. Know how they said, uh, "What was it? Zach Kuntz was supposed yeah. to be like really good." All yeah. right, <laughs> he's like Zach Kuntz times a thousand. Don't ever use uh, Brock Bowers and Zach Kuntz's name in the same sentence again. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use it again. <laughs> Zach Kuntz, Brock Bowers is like, okay, you compared to like. Super Saiyan five. All right, but can he can he translate? Look, I don't believe in college scouting until they translate it to the fucking NFL because there yeah, are too many motherfuckers that just there's a lot of people that didn't believe in George Kittle. Yeah, that's true. And as we speaking of which, this is a great transition. So we're gonna start with uh, where did these. Uh, players go to college Super Bowl edition. Hey, let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's go. And let's we're going to start with Justin first, George Kittle. Oh, Where did he go to college? Wisconsin. Wrong. You got three tries. Uh, how popular is the college? Very. Oh. It's a big 12. That doesn't help me. Um, what? nigga, I don't pay attention to college at all. All right, well, you're gonna get all the 49ers players, and I'm giving Hecker all the Chiefs players. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, Big 12, Big 12, Big 12. Is Penn State Big 12? No, they're Big no, 10. No, they're Big 10. They're Big 10. Ohio. You know what? You said what? Ohio? I think he means Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. No. Is there another Ohio? <laughs> Miami. Yeah, Ohio. there is. The University of Ohio. But that's a oh. small <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shit, I don't know fucking Big 12 teams. Let's see. Third guess. Tell me the region. Uh, Midwest. 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 Shit. Man, you're talking about where all white people love to live. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 Uh, he's a, he a corn fed boy. Corn is that a is that a, a hint? <laughs> um, it might be Midwest, 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 Midwest. All right, can I request one more hint? Mm-hmm. First letter. <laughs> I still won't get it. But don't I, give it away. I don't know about that. You don't know me. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. If you get it, that means you gave it away. I. Right. Yeah. What is it? I. Right. Oh, I. 
he's he's trying to act like he's thinking and he knows the answer already. Nah, my first my first thought was Iowa. <clears throat> and that would be the answer. Wait, no way. Yeah, University of Iowa. Seriously? All right. Yeah. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hecker's next. All right. Chris Jones. Chris Jones. Oh, Chris Jones. Uh, I actually. I know that. Him. Come on, uh, man. I know that. Yeah, you sure you do. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kansas. I don't know. <laughs> it is not Kansas. You got three tries. Um. Florida? Nope. Can I get you wanna, one? You want a hit? Yeah, give me a hint. Oh, Dak Prescott. Like it's the same college that he went to? Yes. Yeah, here we go. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, no. is it Oklahoma? Everyone State? asks you to spell this name in school. Uh, I asked you to spell the name in school. Oh, Mississippi. State. <laughs> <M -I -S -S -I. laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, you're next. Hold on, right, I gotta go. get my pizza. <laughs> oh shit! But it, it's Brandon Ayuk. Ayuk, Ayuk. Does it rhyme? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it does not rhyme at all. Nothing rhymes with fucking Ayuk. Um, Ayuk, Ayuk, Ayuk is on Ayuk. fire. <laughs> we know the. Alright, alright. Um, Ayuk, 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 Ayuk. Um, I have no idea where he went. So let's just guess. And don't be looking it up, neither, nigga. No, 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 no! I was texting the motherfuckers. Um, <laughs> Ayuk, 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 Ayuk. Let's guess. Texas A and M. Are you clicking? No, it's not Texas. Not First Texas. Guess. All right. Huh? What's my next hint? No. I, I, I need a hint for every guess. You need a hint? All right. For every guess. Um, <laughs> let's see. Hint. Give me a. Um, uh, oh, all right. Ball so hard, university. Ball so hard? Motherfuckers <laughs> want to find me. That shit cray. <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> I, I, I can't guess. I, I can't guess universities in Paris, man. Shit. <laughs> Who was in Paris? <laughs> Hector, don't say it. Ball so I, hard. I don't even know. <clears throat> um. Ball so hard. Bama. No. All right. Give me the region. region. Get it. The region, the region. Southwest. Southwest. I hear a lot of clicking. That's Hacker. That ain't me. <laughs> it is I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, doing it, I'm doing it. I'm doing an immaculate grid. I'm trying to figure out a Hall of Fame player that's only played for one team. <laughs> <laughs> that's the last thing I need for this immaculate grid. Dan Marino. Oh, well, I'll be damned. Yeah. Uh, Southwest, Southwest, Southwest. <laughs> was it Dan Marino? Yeah, yeah, that was a uh, that was one. Oh, I got it. Arizona State. Yeah. 
Yeah, Arizona State. I just told you. Wait, I got it. No, you said not Arizona. really. <laughs> Arizona, State, Arizona State. Isn't State. that like? Is, isn't that the fucking? No, like Ohio, University. Ohio State. No, there's the no, University, Arizona State University of Arizona. Arizona State. University of Arizona. The uh, Wildcats and the uh, and then you know Arizona State. Nah, the Sun Devils. That. I'm I'm yeah. taking that. I'm t- look. That was my second guess. You said Southwest Zona was the only thing I was thinking. I was thinking Zona <laughs> State. All right, I'm taking that as a fucking win. All right, I never get these. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, Justin. <laughs> I'm taking that All as right. a goddamn win. Ooh, I don't give a fuck if you count yeah. it or not. Let's see. I'm Hecker taking Rick. Zona as a fucking win. Let's do it. All right, R- R- Hecker Rashi Rice. Rashi Rice. Oh, um, Oklahoma. This one I can't look and up. That is incorrect. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Rashi Rice. Uh... Oh, nigga, All you right. ain't getting this. First clue, it's in the South. Yeah, it is. I'll give you a clue. Oh. And, yeah. No, not Georgia Tech. Second guess, or... <clears throat> All right, I'll give you this. I'll give you. I'll give you clues after each guess. That's wrong. There's one it's clue in, you can give him. I'm pretty sure it's he'll in get Texas. it. Texas. There's one it's clue Texas. you can give him. It's it, and it he'll get Texas. it. They're not in Texas. It is in Texas. Rice. Uh, Texas University. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, it's probably something like crazy. It's probably like some like it is. Cool it is. Crazy. But it if is. you know, if you know where this person went to, Justin, tell him. Jerry Rice. What? <sighs> Jerry Rice went to the same fucking university. No, he didn't. Well, apparently, my 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 phone is telling me he did. SMU. Yeah. Uh, Jerry Rice didn't go to SMU. Oh no, you my bad. Like Jerry Rice went to Miss, Mississippi Valley Missing State. Valley my, State. Bad. Yeah. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my so bad. my bad, my bad. I, Rashi Rice went to uh so S- so Rashi went, went to SMU, SMU and yes. Jerry went to uh Mississippi Valley yeah, State. Bad. That's my bad. <laughs> Mississippi Valley State. My bad. Justin, I thought you were sober. Oh, always, always. Oh, this nigga. All right, CMC, Justin, get ready. Get off your phone. Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. He's got a text, man. Shit. No, you didn't. Yeah, someone's giving him the answers. Yep. Oh, shit. Ezra text. Cleveland. <laughs> it's Ezra Zah. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. <laughs> CMC. Um, CMC. CMC USC. No, you're in the right region, though. Oh, right region. Yeah. SoCal. That's you just said that. USC. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying the Southern California region. Oh, no. <clears throat> Not SoCal State. Nah, nigga. Shit. <laughs> well, I thought you meant SoCal like USC again. I could give no, a hint. No. Like, I could give a hint that could be a giveaway, but might not be a giveaway for Justin. It and would never be a giveaway yeah, for me. No, nah, it won't. You uh, can say same, Andrew Luck and it won't yeah, be yeah, a giveaway. Same, that's what I was going to say. I don't remember who. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we're Shit, like that was ages ago. Through this, I have so many more. Oh man, um, this is why Justin needs to start watching college football. Nah, nah, never. <laughs> nah, then you're gonna end oh. up sucking ass still. Yeah, so why bother watching them? Christian McC- even my dad watched this motherfucker in college. I never and seen him. And he said, college. damn, that motherfucker's a kick-ass dude. 
And but he he played college in Southern Cali. No. Oh, never mind. Okay. Um, let me give it to you, Northern Cali. Northern Cali. Uh, smart people. That, go that, to that's school. pretty much a giveaway okay. right there. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you got like two options. He got a Northwestern, did he? No. This nigga. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's two. That's two. <laughs> yeah, that's you two. Got, you got like a 50-50 right now, and I ain't giving you no more clues. <laughs> I got plenty of clues already, and I got no fucking idea. <laughs> Um shit. Northern Cali. Bruh. If I give you this clue and you don't get it. I still won't. <laughs> I still won't. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger Woods, y'all. Oh, I don't know where Tiger went. Oh shit. All right. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I have, Tiger I have no more. Wait, Tiger Woods went to college? Yeah. He must have tear tear them motherfuckers up. Shit, I'm he did not sure. belong. I think he did for like a year. Yeah, yeah that's all he needed. Offers even typically go to college. Like, I don't know yeah, that. they do. I mean, Ricky, it's not Ricky necessary. Ballard did. He went to Oklahoma State. Not Yo, all. Mo, you remember oh. Mo? You remember Chris Cuber? Yeah, he's he plays professional golf. Yeah, yeah, I know he does. I remember, I I remember back in the day, did. Did. I, I don't know if he still does. I don't know if he still does, but I remember yeah, um, I no, met him at the like, golf culture club when like I was working over there ago, way back in the day. I know, I yeah, know he was playing, but he was playing like amateur. He wasn't playing yeah, like yep, yep. level. He, he was the amateur back then, man. Shit, yeah. man, he was still making money. I wish I fucking learned golf back yeah. in the day. I could have made some good money. It ain't mm-hmm. difficult sport. You just gotta learn how to fucking hit the goddamn ball properly every every time. Every fucking you can't time. fuck up. You can't fuck up. Yeah, that's why <laughs> so many people are not good at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Even like fucking up like a couple of times will like. Yeah. No. 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 You, you you're not being put onto any fucking tours or anything. If you no, nah, you got to be consistent. Hundred percent consistent. Mm-hmm. But I'm anal like that. No homo. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with it. If you were. <laughs> nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. I just don't like shit on my ass. <laughs> Believe me, some women have tried. the goddamn school already? Oh, no my bad, man. I, 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 I digress. I digress. I was talking about my butthole. Uh, <laughs> I have no comment on the, uh, on the subject matter. Yeah, no, 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 I don't understand how, but yo, I know niggas that like getting their ass ate out. Like, why? <laughs> why? What? What place they bring we, we all right, end the podcast right now. My bad. No, we got to finish this goddamn trivia. So, um, start. Northwest, Stanford, Oregon. God damn, was it Stanford? Yes. yes. Oh, that was actually easier to guess than I was thinking. I wasn't thinking Ivy League. Shit. I thought you were gonna say like Cal or Stanford. I, at thinking, one point, God, no, I, I wasn't thinking, be, I I wasn't really thinking Ivy one League. Point I said it's it's a place where smart people go. <laughs> oh, you did say that. You did say that. You did. You did. You did. I was trying to be like like right. Ivy League would have given it away, but like smart people. Yeah, no. If you said I Ivy League, yeah, no, any, I'm any giving away for Justin. Oh. All right, Sky Moore. <laughs> Sky Moore. I, f- I f- fucking know this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, come on, man. I know this. Yeah, sure you do. <laughs> what is it? If Justin, if you know it, butt in and say it. Because he was just because he was just drafted. Oh, it's me. simple, man. It's to, right um, here on my phone. <laughs> uh LSU. Nope. That is way off. Way off. Uh, way off in terms of like geography. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Closer to you. Huh? Yeah. 
I'll give he you that to God, clue. Closer, closer to you. Closer to you. Closer to me. West Virginia? No. Ooh, no. Nope. You were close, but no cigar. All right. Not the way you're thinking, too. Shit. You, you had the right term in the first. Western yeah. Kentucky. Oh, no. All right. Dirt. I think a little further west. I think a little further northwest. North. North. Western Michigan. Oh. Yes. We got we got, we got two for Hecker and none for Justin. <laughs> up, man? I got I got them both. I got them both. Yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, <laughs> nigga. All right. Yeah, let's see if you get this one then. Fred Warner. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, <laughs> it sure is. Okay, uh, I right, didn't hear uh, you, there, sir. Uh, your mic was muted. Yeah, he's on my mic. So, what, what team? <laughs> um, let's. Um, my yeah, first guess will be. Justin's definitely drinking at work. Nah, man. He's lying. Um, USC. All right. Uh, I, the clue I'd give you because you're, you're all right. First of all, you're wrong. Yeah. Um, the clue I give you will definitely give it away. No. And yeah, it will. No. I know a hundred percent it will. No. It, it might. It might. If it, it does, no. It won't. If it does, then this. Well, let's get uh, here. Let's not. start. Uh, let's if if it does, if here. it does, don't count. I'm talking. Right, well, then well, don't before, count. Before, All right. Mo, before Mo, before you give the hint, you're gonna give. How about we do uh, another hint that won't pro probably won't give it away. Uh, That's fair. Steve do you Young. have one? Okay. Steve Young. Like I fucking remember where Steve Young went. <laughs> Uh, uh give him, did he give go to the, the hit, where where he Emmett, where Steve Emmett Young went College. has his name in the 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 name of the university? Zach Wilson. No way. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. That's not named after Steve Young. It's that's uh, the well, you Brigham got bullshit. Young. Brigham Young. That's a youth. Yeah, yeah, BYU. Yeah, no. I think, I think Steve Young was related to him. Yeah. Oh, was was, was the hit in Zach Wilson? Yeah, They're both nah, I Mormon. Got They're both I, I, Mormon. I would have I got it off of Zach Wilson. Y'all right see, about that. I told you. Y'all right about that. Y'all right about that. Ooh. Yeah, and, and Steve <laughs> Young was related to Brigham Young. Uh yeah, he was the slave. He he uh if you played oh um, if you played backyard football uh, back Yo, in the Pablo's day, Pablo Sanchez. He actually talked about, yeah, uh like the one part where like I don't know, they had like Steve Young was in it, I think like Dante Colpep and like Dan Marino were in it. But like if you that click those young, he actually would say like, Oh yeah, like uh uh, Brigham Young, <clears throat> uh, he's like, yeah, I went to, uh, he was like, oh, I, he, he's like, oh, I went to, uh, <clears throat> uh, BYU, which is named after my, uh, great, great grandfather, Brigham Young. <laughs> All right, Hector, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You're not ready? I'm ready. Marquez Valdez Gantley. MVS. <clears throat> That's easy. MVS went to uh, <clears throat> DFU, Drop Footballs University. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, he he went, well, this is this is a trick question because he went to two schools. And okay. I'll accept either one. Either one. All right. Uh, let's see. MVS. He went to uh, 
Michigan State. Mm. <coughs> Mm-mm. Am I uh, pretty far off? Or? Yes. Very cool. Okay. East Coast uh, and South East Coast. Coastal Carolina. Negative. Uh, the U. Miami. Ooh, very close. Very Is close. that the third? I think so. Come on, man! I could have got to, that. He went to South Florida, but transferred uh, from NC State. Uh, All right, Justin, you're next. Who is it? Brock Purdy. Breathe. <laughs> oh, God Tear damn. this nigga up right now. Pause. Breeze. That sounded like gay as hell. That's the end. <laughs> Justin, like, damn. I should Breeze. know it. I should know it. Honestly, I should know it. You should. <clears throat> Amount of times I've heard Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah, no shit. Don't worry, it gets harder. Pause. That's what she said. Hey yo. Nah, hey, nah, nah. Nope. I stay at one fucking uh hardest. <laughs> That's it. And there's no harder, bitch. You live with it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Breeze. All right, this is going to take a while. I got to take a leap. <laughs> Hacker, oh. do you know where? Oh, yeah, I know where. I don't Hacker even know. definitely knows. I need to look yeah. it up. And, and the, the best part is our running back went to the same school. Yep. Oh, Rock which Green. one? Bruce Hall. I'm not. 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 i <laughs> All right, well, I'll I'll give you an update. There is no USC on this list. Okay, so I got I got to stop guessing USC. Next the next one we do next thing we do this is going to be all USC. <laughs> <laughs> You're damn You're right. terrible. Yeah, fucking terrible. <laughs> um I don't pay attention to this college shit like when they announce themselves and they say, oh, yeah, I went to this fucking college or high school, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Well, see, I don't give a fuck either, but I watch college highlights. Uh, see, I don't, I don't, I don't. Well, actually, no, no, not, that's because not true. You I know do why? watch college. I, I have to I be the watch. scout in this motherfucker. That's what. <laughs> uh, I, I check out some scouting. I just don't remember shit. Mm. Uh, that sounds like a personal problem. Oh, 100 percent shit. <laughs> Why well, I got my Addies? Um, um what fucking what uh, of, he, he I, 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 like I can say what won. conference doesn't help me. Have I made a guess yet? I made one guess. Yeah, USC. Um I feel like I've guessed the same fucking schools every fucking time. Alan Lazard went here too. I don't help. So <laughs> will Yeah, I know. It wasn't um, gonna help. That's why I said it. Do you want the region? Ohio. No. Not quite. You know what's crazy? I said the same exact thing. And you said the same exact state. Wait, same state? I said when I asked you, do you want a region? And you said Ohio. I said the same exact thing when I said Midwest. So I figured I'd give you that. 
That don't help. He's north? Yeah. Shit, they ain't much around Ohio. <laughs> a, little, a little bit well, west. It ain't, it ain't around Ohio. <laughs> but I feel like the only teams that matter up there other than Ohio are like Iowa and fucking Michigan. A Big 12, nigga. Well, I don't, I don't know who's in the you, fucking you, Big 12. You had with one of those things you said you had kind of the right idea. Wait, was I close? Uh, something you said <laughs> was something you just said was kind of close. Yeah, the two places you mentioned after. Uh, All right, Ohio. so fuck Michigan. Let's go out. At, uh, not Ohio. Fucking Iowa. Not okay, Iowa, but Iowa State. Yep. yep. I'll take half a point. Half, half point, point PPR. <laughs> All right. Hecker's <laughs> up. I'm up. McCole Hardman. McCole Hardman went to the Georgia. Big, big stupid asshole university. BSA. Um, he went to <clears throat> Miko Hardman. Justin just uh, said it. What? Justin just said it. No! <laughs> Wait, did he say I didn't, I didn't even mean. You didn't hear him? Yeah, no, I think I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he say USC? Or? Don't say it, Justin. Yo, no, I'm not going to say it. No, that's great. That's fucking. I honestly didn't fucking know. Is it? Is it USC? Did. No, it's not USC. <laughs> Yo, honestly, that's fucking hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I said it as a joke. Uh, Northwestern? No. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember what he said, though. S- I was S-C-C. literally Googling it. I was literally S-C-C. Googling it as, as I said it. And then Moe's like, oh, Justin just said it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, oh. I didn't even put it in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I, I, oh, wait, I heard you. Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did that bone get on that team? Well, I guess they weren't as good back then. Yo, that's well, he, wild. Was, he was there before. <clears throat> oh, I got Georgia. Georgia, though. Georgia? Yeah, because you looked it up. You- no, yo, I, I, I shit you not, yo. First off, first off, first off, I'm oh, trying to be Hecker. You just said it. I'm, I'm be trying to be Hecker. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I was just like, oh yeah, Georgia. <laughs> Hold on, did you just er that, Uncle Georgia? Richard? No, hell no, nigga. Shit. <laughs> nah, right. no, no. You got Georgia, Nate. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. See, see what I'm saying. All right, Justin. I can't wait for this shit right here. Ah, oh, stop it. Debo Samuel. I was hoping you said Lamar because I know Lamar. <laughs> well, he ain't playing in the Super Bowl. Sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fa Debo, Debo, Debo's West Coast, right? Nope. Opposite. He is now. Yeah. <clears throat> Ah, uh, Debo, 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 Debo. The amount of times I've watched fucking 49ers games, and they, they say it right there. Hey, Debo Samuel. You know what's crazy? He was a rookie when they made the Super Bowl against the Chiefs, and now it's a repeat. Yeah, which it shouldn't be a fucking repeat. The fucking Ravens should have goddamn made it there, but they're fucking retarded. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, Debo went to Just Eastern sound like Michigan. a Ravens fan. Hell no. Uh, no, but he did go to a place. He did go to a school. He did go to a school that starts with a uh, you know, with a direction. So oh, like maybe, yeah. yeah. So like northeast. Not, no, 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 uh, no, no. No way he went to northeast. No, uh, there is. I don't I'll, think there is a northeastern. Give him all right. All right, guess one know, more, and I'll give you. I'll give you the conference. That's well, I don't know if that'll right. even help anyways. SEC. Yeah, don't help. Unless, well, is Penn State SEC? Hell, no. Fucking no. I don't know. 
God, don't know shit. <clears throat> Damn right I don't. See, this is how I know Justin doesn't do homework. He just be talking out his ass. No, no, no. We're we're talking about college right now. Yeah. I don't pay attention to anything for college. Well, you need to be complete. We you know expect what? more from you. That's a fair criticism. That's fair. Am I gonna am I am you I gonna do, live up to it? We do our homework. We do our homework. Am I, am I gonna live up to it? Probably not. But that's a fair criticism. That's a fair <laughs> criticism. <laughs> Boo! Oh, nigga, I, I do I enough homework for work. Hacker, um, I think I think we I, I think we need to make Justin a guest at this point. Oh, nigga, you wild. <laughs> Jamon Justin to a part-time employee. We're taking away. <clears throat> we're taking away your health insurance. <laughs> oh, yeah. If y'all want to make that move, I'm gonna tell. I'm, I'm gonna show how I know more. Co- I'm gonna study college fucking football, oh, yeah. like at the OD. And then See, this yo, is, this, is how, you know, this is how I get. This is how I get Justin excited. See, we fire, we, <laughs> we fire Justin for a year and like bring him back like for the draft next year, and he's like, and then he's he's like, like hosting oh, CBS no. Sports. Yeah, he's, he's like here, he's like, like on M- he's <laughs> like on NBC and PFF with like Connor yeah. Rogers. <laughs> So here, this is this is where I see Caleb Williams getting drafted. I think he's gonna drop down a few slots just because of his attitude. A lot of a lot of teams don't understand. They they seem to not have an interest just because of how he reacts <laughs> to team. Hundred <laughs> percent, yes. <laughs> All right, you you still, it, you I'm forced to do homework. Guess, guess three or two. Uh, two, two. Guess two oh, will man. be um. All right, remember SEC. Yeah, that don't, that don't help me. Or like my old boss would say, ECZ. <laughs> yes, she was Hispanic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I look. The college divisions have changed, and even before they changed, I didn't fucking know them. Uh, so it's Southern teams, nigga. Bama. Mm-mm. Not that much South. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we ain't talking about we ain't talking about inbred South. We uh, talking about like East Coast South. So I'll give um one last guess, Jadavian Clowney. V Tech. Gamecocks. Oh, that's uh, isn't that Iowa? South Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina Gamecocks. South Carolina Gamecocks. Couldn't fucking remember where the fuck they were from. God damn it! Yo, man, oh, I don't Hecker. pay Hecker attention to college. Get... Give me let's um. How, let's see how fast Hecker gets this. Creed Bryce Humphrey. Young. Bryce Young. Creed Humphrey. He went to uh, he went to <laughs> Iowa, didn't he? That is incorrect. Iowa State. That is also incorrect. <clears throat> Fuck. I feel like I should know this. Yes, uh, you should know this. He was in draft talks. Yeah, I know. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, we talked about him a lot. Uh, for some reason, I want to say Big Twelve. Big Twelve. Uh, Oklahoma State. Oh, just missed it, Oklahoma. God damn it. And I guessed Oklahoma like five other times for other people. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to fuck with all y'all. All right, Justin, where the fuck are you at? I got an easy layup cakewalk. A layup, man. I knew Oklahoma State. Shit, man. I would have had that. Yeah, it, well, it wasn't Oklahoma State. My bad, Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, Nick Bosa. Mm, that should be. <laughs> yeah, no that shit. What is it? Say it. It's a cakewalk. You're Bosa. taking too long. You see what I'm saying? Bosa, come on. Where Bosa go? You tell me. 
Yeah, it's simple. It's, it's easy. It's easy. Come on, man. You don't know. Easy. Come on. You I know. Written down. Right you're, here. you're one who's on trial, dog. It's easy. You want to try? Night court. I don't know. Did he even play uh, college? It's a place you. <laughs> uh, it's a place you've mentioned a few times. Damn before. that! This is the biggest. I'm. I'm gonna comment notes on here. The biggest L ever. Oh man, it ain't an L to me. That's why wow. ball is fucking trash. Joey bro. Joey Bosa went here too. Just oh. so you know. Oh. And Chase. Oh. oh, oh, so the races oh. got to be down in Mississippi. Uh, yeah. Also. <laughs> All right, that was a joke. Oh. That was a joke. That's that's not an actual guess. Justin that's not an actual guess. This is a racist school. <laughs> this school. Oh, you, you, you said the Bosa's went there, man. Shit. You know definitely their, racist. Their dad played on the Dolphins. I don't know. If yeah, you know. that whole fam's racist, man. I got no faith. I didn't know. That, Justin that. said this family is racist. Hundred percent. <clears throat> Nobody likes killing niggas more. <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> yes, please. Holy all right, shit. all right. Um, USC. God damn this nigga. Wait, he said. He said I told you that there would be no more no USC more answers. Oh yeah, you did. You did. You did. You did. You did. You did. Bad, I, see, this is how I know this nigga is fucked up. No, I just don't pay attention. Mm -mm. Ever. Um, nigga, I'm drunk, and I told you that shit. I wish I was drunk. Shit. No, you lying. You high. No, I wish. Shit. I'm actually playing new workout. You might have took in a gummy or something. I don't know. You might have split a gummy in half. Some shit. I need it. I need to smoke some goddamn weed right now. <laughs> yeah, if you smoke weed, maybe I'll run I'm about away. to go. I'm about to go be the chicken. I'm not home. Master. I'm not home. Um, this is me off. God damn it! I don't know. Fucking Washington. Uh, -uh. What? Washington? Um, that's a very not racist school. I feel. I don't know. Really I feel like that's very white. Martin Williams says Howard. No, nah, it's very black. No shit. You're both <laughs> wrong. All right. Uh, can. Nigga, this is like eight guesses in. Kentucky. Holy shit. Not, no, but kind of close. I heard her just say it. The, the Ohio State University. Oh, I said that before. No, you didn't. I said it many times. And not for this one. I'm just saying I said <laughs> Ohio State. <laughs> All right. This is going to be a good one. Oh, God. This is definitely not. I, I, you know what? I'm gonna just give the rest to Hacker. Joe Tooney. I get him. Joe Tooney went to uh Michigan. He did not. <laughs> A uh, uh, all right. I'll give you the conference. ACC. The ACC, Joe Tooney, um, North Carolina. Oh, very close. North Carolina State. Yep. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. I right, had that. Justin, Justin, you ready yeah. for this? Yeah, come on, man. I don't, I, I don't think Justin's ready for this. I'm not. I'm telling you right now, I'm not. Champ? Trent Williams. He don't even know who that is. No. Who is he? God. Um... If you know who he is, guard, 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 is he a guard or a tackle? He is a tackle. Tackle, my bad, tackle. Is, is, you see what I'm talking about, hacker? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you don't understand. My mind, I don't fucking pay attention to this shit. 
at all. <laughs> not gonna lie, at <laughs> all. Big Twelve. All right, Trent Williams. You don't know who's in the Big Twelve. No. Right. That 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 requires fucking dedicated <laughs> memory. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't dedicating my memory to fucking college ball. Shit. I'm very it's limited here. It's a place just... that I said a bunch of times and was wrong, and then yeah. it ended up being a place I didn't. Oh, I don't say. Right. No. No. No, but it does start with a no. Starts with it's an O. A... Ooh. Yes, it starts with an O. That's a good clue. Well, shit, man. I got like. Literally three colleges to guess and two chances. Yep. There are well. only two fucking states that start with no. Two? I think, yeah. 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 So I already guessed one. I got two more guesses. Yeah. And I hope you don't say the one that I'm thinking right now. I don't know. <laughs> I hope you. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking. <coughs> Oklahoma. Yes. Hey. Oh Lord, he finally got one. He finally ah. got one. God, it's like Christmas. Ooh, Look, Christmas coming. I got Christmas. You. I'm gonna get you good Christmas real quick. Pussy. Christmas comes uh, with pussy. This ain't Christmas. <laughs> Justin, the next one is not going to be good. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to be good. Wow. Uh -oh. All right, Hecker, you ready? Kadarius yeah. Tony. Kadarius <laughs> Tony. I, I know this. He went to, uh, did he go to uh, Kentucky? No. You're in the right region, though. Uh, Kansas. Mm -mm. You're getting cold. Oh, very cold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was closer with Kentucky. I can't um, stand this oh. musty nigga. <laughs> Louis, though. <laughs> oh, hell no. Still cold. You, 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 all right. Cuban Just immigrants. Warm up a little bit. Warm up. <laughs> Wait, Mo, what did you say? I said Cuban immigrants. <laughs> oh. oh, Miami. <laughs> Shit. Close? No. Very close. Yeah. Oh, uh, was... Florida. He went to Florida. Yes. yes. Wait, how was, I close? how was I close when I said Kentucky then? Just because it's in the SEC? Just because it's warmer. Who said close? I didn't say close. Someone I did because I'm an close, asshole. Man. Oh, Justin did. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are an asshole. <laughs> I, I would have said close, that. closer. <laughs> I was like, I'm how did so. close? Like, All right, Justin, I'm going to dominate your brain right now. Kyle Juszczyk. <clears throat> he don't even know who that is. No, I know who he is. The fullback for the Niners. <laughs> okay, thank God. I know Juszczyk. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, this is going to be the elite. If you get this... I'll, I'll say you won already. I ain't getting it. Um, Hecker already knows it. Yeah. <clears throat> I, think uh, I, I, have a hint it that, I have a hint that may or may not give it away. No, well, he obviously. Obviously, he. I think we he, have the same hint. Hager. Probably, we probably do. <clears throat> he clearly, you said no more USC, right? Uh, yeah, there was no, not a single USC. There is no USC on here. Just making sure y'all aren't trying to trick me. Uh, so mm -hmm. clearly, went to. Um, All right, just, I'll give you. I'll get before you even guess. I'll I give have, you a clue. I have no fucking idea. Northeast. Okay. Ryan Fitzpatrick. That's 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 the clue. Oh no way! I was actually thinking Ivy League, but I was oh, like, well, you, Hecker, went to... you just gave it to him. Hecker, no, you just let him beat you. 
No, no, no. He he didn't because I was thinking if it's that obvious, I had to first guess Ivy League. I, I oh, yeah. was your first guess. Yeah. No, yeah. No, I'm joking. I'm oh, joking. this nigga. Yes. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, I wasn't sure if, uh, how, how much of a giveaway Ryan Fitzpatrick would be for Justin. He doesn't know where anyone went to college. Well, they <laughs> fucking... They don't shut the fuck up about Ryan Fitzpatrick going to Harvard. Exactly. Harvard. Exactly. All right. Well, you're you're welcome. That was a freebie. Yeah. yeah, I'll take it. All right, Hector, last one. This is the last one to finalize the podcast. Harrison Butker. Harrison Butt Kicker went to the University of New Mexico State. <laughs> it's a tech school. Uh, ACC. Tech school in the ACC. Delaware? They're not in the ACC. <laughs> Wait, Delaware's Ooh. in the ACC. When you say it's a tech school, like it, tech is like like in the name, like something tech? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Georgia. Oh. What'd you say? Georgia Tech. Yep. That was where we went for the retreat. Oh, yeah. Was it Justin? Wait, heck, were you there? I wasn't there, no. Oh, but yeah, yeah, you uh, weren't you no, were there. I don't think it was Georgia Tech. So. <laughs> Anyways. We were, yeah, we were was, down in Atlanta. Was that shit was dope. That shit was dope. That was like Atlanta. 20. What was it? That right, was at least after. that was at least twenty years ago, man. Fuck, we're old. That was like ten. Uh, no, it was like twelve years ago. So that does it for the trivia. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Twenty years ago, be fucking thirteen. Yeah, yeah let's, close uh, that. let's get our Super Bowl picks in. Oh, all right. I got the Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> well, you lost already. I'm gonna go. How bad I wish Lamar was playing. Hey, so, I mean, I'll tell you after. We, football, we, football is rigged, and so is the election. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to win, uh, and the final score is going to be 31 to 21, uh, just like ooh. the Jets, just like the Jets predicted on Hard Knocks. Okay, I like the prediction. Oh shit. When Are you saying she's she, she's back to back? Yep. I think I'm gonna ride with Hecker. What's the score? Like Thirty-one twenty-one. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Irrelevant coming up with a fo- Super Bowl win. Um, oh, he does. I do too, but I'm bent on him, so he probably won't. So. <laughs> Uh, I'll say it'll come down to Moody because no matter how much he does, it's not going to come down to him. So it's going to be a three point game 28 24. That's four points. 28. 20, oh, fuck. No, I don't want that. 31-28. 31-28. My bad. Fuck, man. I do math for a living. 31-28. 49ers? <clears throat> yep. Well, there you have it. There you have it. There you have it. There you have it. There no, you I don't like that score. The, Sorry. The 49ers. The 49ers. Motherfucker. I'm going to hit a couple field goals during the game, I feel. Uh, it'll be a fun game to watch. I hope. I hope. It, the last one was good. Yeah. When they played each other. 
but I don't want uh, Jimmy G. I don't want to watch the goddamn Chiefs again. You know what's crazy? Everybody loved the Chiefs like a year ago, and now everyone yeah. hates the Chiefs. Same you with Tom Brady. No one wants to see a dynasty. I want I, no. I want them to win like ten. You want them to dominate? Yeah. Uh, I know we ain't doing shit. I can tell you that right now. I'll be working yeah. during it, but I don't want to see the Chiefs dominate, man. I want to see the Niners win. I I, I was rooting for the fucking Ravens. You know, if it was I Ravens hate, Niners, I, I'd be rooting for the Ravens. You know what I fucking hate when people say, "Oh, let this team win. Let this fuck that shit." No, no, no. No, that's the pussy boy. shit. No, I don't want to hear that shit. Nah, I'm not saying no, let them win. Fucking go and let the dogs win. Yeah, no, hundred percent. But the bigger dogs, people say that shit. Bigger dogs are the Niners. Yeah, fuck the Niners that. have more dogs. Damn that shit. Niners oh, have more let dogs. Them win. Let them win. Niners it's have more else. dogs. I want someone else to win. Somebody else's chance. You, 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 you want to see MVS win? Yes. I don't give a shit. I want to see Debo get one. I want to see McCaffrey get one. Okay, then fucking do it. Yeah, hundred percent. And I think they can get it. Yeah, uh, their defense looking like ass right now. They are. That's what's stopping them. They are the favorites. Yeah. Hey, over 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 under McCaffrey. Wait, wait, McCaffrey over under. They have McCaffrey him at over under one hundred yards. Over under. They 100. have him at ninety for for CMC. Uh, all purpose or rushing? Either way, I'm taking the over. Rushing. rushing. Wait, rushing. rushing. Over they have 100? him at ninety. I think he gets more. Yeah. Really. <clears throat> I think he gets more, and I think Brock Purdy has like kind of a bad game because the Chiefs have a really good pass defense. Yeah, run defense, yes. the Chiefs are a really good. Yeah, defense. Legere- oh. Legereus Sneed is good. I think Purdy could put up two fifty um, passing. He, with, he's he's with, at, with he was one fifty. Last time I check, he was at two forty something. Brock Purdy yeah. cannot hold Sam Darnold's jock strap. <laughs> nah, stop, 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 stop. You out? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, you out? I think Purdy could put up 250 passing, but like 150 is going to be a rack. Yak. Yeah, why not? Yak ability. Oh, yeah. He's got a great rack. Yeah, run after catch. (laughs) Oh, what? (laughs) Yeah. The term we are looking for yes. is yak. Is yak yards at the cash? Nah, I say fuck that shit. Oh my god. Rack. Give the fucking um I think yak is retarded because then you you're saying it's towards the fucking quarterback. The quarterback didn't do shit for that shit. Where you the, the, the wide game? receivers actually ran. For yards after the catch. Rack. Yak is retarded. Yards after the catch, that's that's a quarterback stat. That's a quarterback stat. That's not what the fucking wide receivers are doing. If you want to judge on the wide receivers, that's a run after the catch. Rack. Let's go. You with the R word. Damn right. I'll hit it with the hard R. (laughs) <laughs> before, well before you can do that uh we're gonna go ahead and end this podcast now uh <clears throat> this has been all gas no break uh this is uh the end of season three uh we'll be back in the future uh when there's more stuff to talk about uh enjoy the super bowl uh make sure you bet all of your money on it responsibly and uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Responsibly. Yeah, yeah. Responsibly gamble all of your money away. <laughs> like a citizen. <laughs> <laughs>